YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to This Bed We Made. This is a brand new murder mystery game where you are a maid working in a hotel and in that hotel, there is a murder and it's up to you to solve the murder because you're going into the rooms, you figure out a lot of stuff about the people staying there and who might be the killer. Now, it looked like a really fun game with a really fun concept, so I wanted to play it. And in this video, we're gonna play the whole thing start to finish. Finish. It's gonna be fun. I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it, but let's not waste any more time. Now let's hop into the game. Let's go. The game takes account of all your actions, including the ones you decide not to take. These choices will determine your fate and the fates of others around you. <laughs> Proceed with caution. Uh-oh, it's one of those uh, your choices matter games. Get ready for me to mess it all up and everyone get angry at me. Serve as the police, Montreal. Oh, so we're in Canada, right? We're French right now. Look at that. Is that us? Let's go. Am I gonna make some choices? I'm already. I'm. It's, it's black and white right now. I'm in the past probably. Um. Oh, interesting controls. I can't move the the camera all too much. Can I look around already? Am I in prison? What is going on? I'm just a maid. I didn't do anything. It's I was, on your right. Oh, here. It's on my right. Oh, I'm. I'm a witness. It's that. Oh, just. It's gonna take place in the. Wait, what? You don't lead me into that room. I see. I can't look to the side, man. Is, am I supposed to not be able to look to the side? <laughs> oh, I guess I'm looking into these rooms. <laughs> Angel, thank you for the 22. Here we are. Here we go. It's it's interview time. I've been watching a lot of videos of people being interviewed Good and on. accidentally committing to murder, so let's hope we don't do that. We look very serious. It's all yours, sir. Don't say that. That's weird. Sophie Roy, I'm Detective Maurice Tremblay. Tremblay? Let's see. 21 old working at the Clarington for over a year why are you whispering to Husband? yourself are you a live streamer are you married no is that an invitation I live with my mother she's sick so I have to take care of her not yet no father no it's always just been me and my mom she's right, right, very Roy. like I rigid. need you to tell me everything that happened starting with this morning here we go <laughs> so this is I'm hoping it's copyright free. <laughs> That's the thing I think every time I hear music. <laughs> That's us, baby. This is French as hell. She's completely lost in thought, just cleaning. I love the start. <laughs> this has some immaculate vibes right now. <laughs> Alrighty, well, we know what's gonna happen. Okay, let's go. So, this is an indie game, which is very impressive for an indie game. Make the bed. I'm gonna do this bed we made. Uh, clean the floor. I'm gonna swipey swipey. Look at that interactive cleaning. Am I doing a good job, everyone? Mm, it still looks kind of disgusting. Good enough. <laughs> good enough. All right. I mean, I guess it. I guess that's how it works. Oh, look at this. This is actually real nice. Place the pillow. That is very true. Do I pick up this pillow? Pick up the pillow. Look at that. They got plushies and everything. Place it. <laughs> I'm sorry I ruined that. Uh, call? No need to bother reception right now. Uh, put back? What is this? Oh, it's Ashray, of course. I don't know what time this is, but it's probably a long time ago. Uh, we got snow. It's snowing. I mean, it is, uh... That's a lot of money to owe. Wait, what? Just what did you get yourself involved you in? You know me. You know my family. You were so, we're so snooping on these people, dude. Let's go. You know me. You know my family. You've had a seat at our bar since the day we opened in 19... 1949, I'm assuming. You're more than a friend to us. You're practically family. And while friends are polite to each other, family deserves more. Family deserves honesty. As such, I want to be as direct as possible. I'm letting you know that you're down to the last chance. The 8,380? That is so much money back in the day. With, like, uh, inflation. This is probably, like, I don't know, 100,000 or something. That's crazy. Maybe even more. Uh, you owe us plus 25% interest is now eight months overdue. My patience is worse thin, worn thin. 
This isn't one of your unpaid bar tabs. You came to us for help, and all help always comes at a price. We've opened our pockets to you, and time and time again, you all you've done is taken advantage of our goodwill and generosity. We'll come... We'll come over in person to make our collection tomorrow. I'll bring along the boys so we can all sit down and have a little chat. But just so you know, they aren't too good with the words. Oh, baby. <laughs> hmm. Only menswear. Are you in town for a business trip, maybe? That's like... it's. I think that is so much money. I don't know. So we can put it in an inflation calculator. Dear Mrs. and Mr. Mapleson, regret as we, as we are... Oh, this is some old language. Regret as we... Regretful as we are to have to resort to these lines of communications, our client and your neighbor, the owner of 88th 32nd Street, has been ultimately evasive of our attempts to reach out and collect our due debts. debts. Specifically, an amount owed to us to the sum of 2000 Okay, so they're like loan sharks or something. He has given us little recourse but to contact him through those in close physical proximity to him in the hopes that they can deliver a message on our behalf. We have little desire to disturb you and the other fine citizens of 32nd Street, but our business may bring us back to your neighborhood if it is not resolved quickly. The help of your kind community would be greatly appreciated for us and certainly for your neighbor. I love how all these messages have like huge like mafia undertones here. Um, <laughs> open. I'm, I'm literally... <laughs> I'm yoink. I'm, I'm, can I just... Is there nothing in here? Am I gonna open all of this for no reason? I love the way she like goes up and down. She's doing her squads, dude. She's getting her workout in. I'm just gonna leave that open. Ah, maybe we shouldn't leave that open. <laughs> Someone's gonna notice that. Dude, she is freaking moving. Just making sure I'm not missing anything. What's that? Inspect? Uh, please clean this room. Do not disturb. That's as old as time, huh? That that system of uh, putting that on your on your door. Uh, press and hold to confirm exit. No, I'm not done here. Oh, man, this game looks awesome. It looks so good. I need to clean that bathtub. That is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I'm swiping. I'm clean, Sim. Uh, voila. That's it. Good as new. I thought I was going to clean the walls as well, but all right, sure. Clean the toilet, please. Thank you so much for cleaning the toilet. Clean the mirror. We can't. We need to pull off the... Burden? We're not doing that? Oh, because they don't want us to see that reflection. Because they didn't implement reflections in this game, I'm assuming. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna read this in plain text real quick. Acknowledge of debt. Oh, I guess it's fine. Uh, date of acknowledgement, January 16th, 1958. Okay, wait. Oh, so they opened in 49, of course. Uh, entered into agreement. Okay, so they all, they have, there are like all kinds of loans here. Initial amount of 1,500. Okay, 1,500. And now it's 3,500. On the date of the initial loan, the lender agreed to lend an amount of money due to the sum of one or 1,500 to the borrower for an enduring period of 12 months calculated from date of initial loan. The borrower was to apply to be obliged to pay interest at a rate of 15% per annum, the total sum of set interest to be paid together with capital sum of the granted loan by the loan's period, by the loan period's end. Okay, with the loan period reaching its conclusion on in 57, which is right now, the borrower was expected to have repaid the full amount owed. The failure to do so will prompt further action. Refer to, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so uh, they have all kinds of loans, it turns out. I don't know if this is the person who got murdered. Uh, can I open these? Just make sure we're not missing any sneaky... There's always a Bible. Is that like a... <laughs> is that still a thing? Toggle plain text of the Bible. Just read the whole Bible real quick here. I'm gonna start at the beginning. That's still a thing in the... That there's always a Bible in the... <laughs> in hotel rooms. That's interesting. Okay, put away the thing. You run away. I'm just, I'm just making sure that we're not missing anything. We're gonna be the best damn uh, murder detective of all time. We put that away. Uh, I think everything else is just clean. Nice and clean. Let's, let's get the heck out of here. Leave. Yes, here we go. Oh, did I not do the trash? Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> this is not a... I mean, maybe it is a fancy hotel. Who knows? It looks kind of fancy. Are we crying? Time. Take note of the time. 10.15. Did someone just get shot? Is that a gunshot? Uh-oh. I 
think I heard a gunshot. 10.15, we got a gunshot. We need to remember this. This is going to be important. The detective is going to ask this later. At what time? More like, yeah, 10.13, I guess. Hey, you guys are gossiping about me. Real friends, or is it just Gracie, Joan, and Marilyn? Well, when your own wife is that dull, what the you hell? need to get your excitement somewhere. <laughs> so rude. Oh, did you see Rebecca come in this morning? She was wearing the same clothes. Audio is quiet. Yeah, this is because they were far away. This is exactly the kind of behavior Linda warned me about. <laughs> Sophie speaking. Hey, it's Beth. Do you think you could come up real quick? Um, sure. Well, the I'll voice acting, there. by the way. Yeah, what the hell for indie game? <laughs> it's just like so. Oh, you could have fooled me. I, this looks like a triple A kind of stuff. Oh, we left a key. No. Yeah, the subtitles are nice. I, I appreciate that because. Uh, <laughs> It's sometimes a bit quiet. Press Q to hear Sophie's thoughts. Let's see what Beth wanted to talk about. Okay. Yeah, this is a very pretty hotel. I love it. Interact. Tempting, but every penny adds up, Sophie. Sophie. Uh, well, how do? There's like multiple ways to write this name. I in Dutch we write Sophie with an F instead of a PH. I think in other places it's like Sophia. Uh, is it like based on some angel or something? Like a. Poor Nicole. No one should be stuck cleaning the fact up that the everyone has their own version. Can okay, moonwalk in this game? Draw the short straw. You use F2. In Polish, it's hey, with a Z? Interesting. <laughs> hey there. So, who's sleeping? Sleep what? You were whispering just now on the phone. So I thought maybe Eugene or Bobby were napping in the break room again. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. It's Jack and Wendy. They were, um, in the middle of something. <laughs> of something. Ugh, <laughs> it's so awkward when they start making out like no one's watching. <laughs> Get a room. We literally work in a hotel. <laughs> oh, we got options. They weren't kissing. Oh, okay, here we go. Click a dialogue option to select it. Oh, no. It's got a the choice. They will remember this. Okay. You said you needed to see me. Let's just, uh, let's not confirm or deny. Uh, they weren't. We can lie. We can... Let's just, let's just gossip a little bit. Let's be a little bit of a gossipy oh, gal. I try not to pay attention to them. I just find the sucking noise is hard to ignore, you know? <laughs> but that won't be an issue today, of course. Every sound is being drowned out sucking by the phone's noise. constant ringing. Because of the storm? You have no idea. You're the only person I've talked to today that hasn't mentioned the blizzard. I literally just mentioned it. I mean, it. until now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, sorry. Nah, it's all right. I guess I'm just looking for something else to talk about. Anything else. Love the, like, little mystery tune in the background. Uh, I can tell you about Wendy and Jax. We shouldn't talk too much. Uh, we shouldn't... We shouldn't talk too much. Sorry. I, I wish we could talk more, but if Bernard or Linda catch me here talking to you, there will be hell to pay. Ugh, you're right. But it's such a stupid rule. It's not like clients Guests. would lose their minds seeing a maid <laughs> walk through a hotel lobby. How do they think this place gets cleaned? Magic, probably. <laughs> yeah. She's sus. Speaking of why? cleaning, wanna guess why I summoned you here? Because I need to clean. Uh, something to clean? I'm guessing there's something I have to clean. Obviously. But what is it? Uh, murder. Uh, <laughs> did a kid throw up again? God, no. Did that happen recently? Yeah, last week. I can still smell it. Feel it, too. Ugh. While I was cleaning, some of it got... Uh, I'm gonna stop you right yeah, there. Yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> Keep talking, and you'll be cleaning up after me, too. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, no, you'll be glad to know it's nothing gross this time. It's just a dead body. A nice gentleman decided it was time to redesign the lobby and helped us by knocking over that vase on his way out of the hotel. <laughs> That's it? I would do it myself, but the last time I tried to leave the front desk, Bernard emerged from his lair to scold me about procedures and whatnot. I thought we were going to oh. do a body, man. We can't have the beauty of the Clarington Hotel take absence from her throne, can we? 
Oh, the people would riot. Bernard especially. <laughs> Bernard's hardly the people. Anyway, I have to get back to work. There's a mop in the supply closet next to Bernard's All office. All right, thank you. Thanks. I'll see you around. Yeah, we'll, we'll see a body soon enough. <laughs> Boss Ramo, thank you for the two. Okay, uh, first E to open Sophie's journal. That's banter. Even if it's only a few minutes out of my day, my chats with Beth, Beth are always a highlight. She called me up to clean the mess by one of our guests, which gave us a chance to catch up. I don't think I've met someone who can make conversation seem so effortless. Beth has a witty response for everything. It's too bad, bad maids aren't usually allowed in the lobby. Chatting with her every day would be a great way to start my morning. We're nice. We're a nice person. We're a little bit... We're into some gossipy stuff, but that's Chocolate fine. Chocolate mousse cake. Maybe Bobby so wouldn't mind sneaking me a slice. Oh, no. Bernard would have both our heads. That sounds yummy. Uh, manager's office. Linda, Wendy's great at her job. Guests oh. absolutely love her and huh? Not just guests, apparently. Oh god damn it, Linda! I only <laughs> like her because guests like her. Making sure guests are happy is my job after all. You don't seem to get <laughs> We're so snooping. Listen. If Wendy wasn't doing her job, that'd be another story, but I can't just fire her without good reason. What if she stirred up trouble among the staff? Would that be a good reason? Curiosity killed the cat. Oh, Andrew, hi. I, I was, I mean, I'm sorry. I was just spying on our manager. <laughs> no, I, I heard something. And yeah. I, hey, hey, hey. It's okay. I'm just pulling your leg. Andrew is a good guy. I'm, I'm sorry. I scared you. I'm just, I, I'm not used to having people around me while I. She work. did not jump as much yeah, as I would have in that situation. Enough, I would have been absolutely jump scared. I actually think it's the first time I've seen you down in the lobby. Don't tell me you've been sent to clean up after the Valentine's Day ball. Uh, I heard it was a disaster. Actually, Beth called me here. Were you there during the ball? Let's learn some information. Were you here Friday night to see the whole thing? Yeah. They had someone in charge of the event, but she ended up crying alone in the stairwell. <laughs> so I had to take over. He's like what Ron happened? Weasley. He does kind of look like Ron Weasley. Did it really Weasley. go so wrong? It certainly didn't go wrong for the people I mean, not really, the party, but... <laughs> but for those sober around kind them, of. that's another story. Good God. I'm glad I didn't have to be there. I don't know how you do it. And I don't know how you handle cleaning up after other people all day. You must see plenty of weird stuff, right? Yeah. What's the weirdest thing you found in a guest's room? Uh, something gross? Something about you? Something very... Let's do something very odd. Are we flirting? <laughs> A few months ago, I found stacks of pennies in a room's toilet. Like, a lot of them. Uh, <laughs> uh, what? And when I got to the bed, the pillowcases were filled with pennies as well. I'm still not sure if that guest simply had a strange way of leaving a tip. Maybe it was a penny robbery. Penny robbery? Oh. Tooth fairy. Uh, I better go help Beth. It's hell here with the snowstorm. It's okay. I need to... Um... Yeah. yeah, all right. Take care. You too. I love the way he moved. <laughs> That's the only thing. The animations are a little stiff, but the fact that this is made like by a small team is insane. <laughs> uh, employees only. That's me. Janitor's closet. That's also me. Uh, yeah, I would take the panties. Nice, nice. Okay, me I get the. When I need to take a broom, mop. I thought they were talking about that. Wait, I can't take this. Can I use? Okay, let's get that mop from the supply closet. Yes. Where there's? Wait, what? Am I blind? Is there another one? There was another closet here. This. What is this? Bobby made it. Very I can't open clear that. He doesn't like anyone walking. Okay, that's just a Swiffer or whatever. I don't know if that's the official term. We got a broom. No mop, though. Any mops? The mop is gone. Someone to. Oh. Wait. Is that a mop? Is it? Doesn't a mop have, like, uh, hairs or shit? <laughs> I have, that's the only mop I've ever seen. That, that's a Swiffer. That's not a, that's not a mop. I'll have a word with our kitchen staff to make sure it doesn't happen again. Alright, I'm cleaning. It's clean time, baby. Do I actually get to do this again? No. You had a mop like this? I mean, clearly. Oh, yes! I got, I got actually interactive. I love this. Clean. 
I better throw that away. Yeah, better. Or look at it to see if it's special stuff. What's this? Inspect? A film roll. Ooh. Guest must have dropped it when he knocked over the vase. Probably should return it. Probably to look at the pictures. Queen. Whee! That is so smooth. All right. Uh, cycle through interaction. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. Pick it up. I'm going to take that. I'm going to throw that away. There now we go. I just put the leaves back in the vase, and it'll be like nothing ever happened. Oh, it's just three leaves in a vase. There we go. Maybe Beth remembers who knocked over the vase. He'll want his film roll back. Let's see. I understand, Mr. Ramsey. I wish I could make the snowstorm Order disappear. Ramsey. I really do, but sadly, that's not within my power. <laughs> Beth, who knocked over that vase? Mr. Spade. Mr. Spade? Well, I can check with the airport and let you know when flights resume. Until then... Yes, yes, I know. You've said that already. But... <laughs> the no, plant is fucking so raw. So okay, Mr. Spade. Oh, we need to take a Mr. screenshot. Spade. Everyone here could be the suspect. Well, to One of them. The Called the cancel, the train cancel. Okay, uh, Mr. Spade, Mr. Spade, Mr. Spade. Oh my god, so many. I'm gonna toggle plain text. I, it's probably going to be next page. Ramsey R, it's well, not. That, you'd have to talk to my manager's manager. I don't see Spade. Am I blind? Can I go to the next page? Turn object. Oh, mm, I can sadly, zoom in. He doesn't have a uh, He's a bit oh, old I can turn to the other side. Am I blind? Is it here? But there. 505. Great. That's on my floor. I can return that film roll without going out of my way. That's on my floor? Do we live here? <laughs> no, I never dare. No, I I'm dead serious. If anyone can make the snowstorm end, it's him. <laughs> what is she talking about? What is she talking about? Okay, uh, we should probably clean this as well while we're here. Yeah, dude, we're we're going above and beyond. Staff went above and beyond. This really needs to be fixed. I hope the weather doesn't make it worse. Can we clean something else? I'm just gonna go to floor number five. Clickety click. <clears throat> Made simulator, yeah. <laughs> and I'm kind of digging it. Hold it, please. Uh, just let it close in his face. Phew, made it. Thanks. You're welcome. Was it you who cleaned the puddle by the restrooms? Was I not supposed to? Well, Eugene asked us not to touch anything until oh. he's repaired the leak, but it's probably safer this way. Someone could have slipped on it. Yeah, Which what? Door? Oh, uh, what, I got a scolded for doing my job? I got an achievement for that, by the way. Got an achievement for doing that. Uh, I'm gonna enable the overlay so you guys can see the achievements. One second. What's the big rush? I need to bring this to our VIP guest, the one who rented the entire floor. Oh. What is, is it? Is it that British man I keep hearing about? Uh, all the girls complain about him. Isn't he famous? Why does? Oh, he has snow. Why does he need snow? Uh, all the girls complain about him. The girls have been complaining about him ever since he arrived. Yeah, I'm sure this one has no thoughts for maids. With the dogs he has up there, his room will be a real mess when he's done with it. Dogs? It's no, it's Bernard just a bucket really full like of coke. <laughs> I don't Can think you tell so. Me who he is? I've never actually met him. I always talk to his assistant. Only Bernard knows his identity. Oh. I do have a suspicion, though. Oh? But I'm I'm not sure I should say it. Say it! Can't you at least give me a hint? Hmm. Okay, let me think. Save no! Life. Come on! Hey, come on! Don't leave me hanging! Let's just say... I like to prolong the suspense. Andrew! Wait. Is that the hint? Hmm. Who knows? <laughs> Fair enough. It's a magician. Have fun up there. He's being me sussy. Too. What if Andrew's the killer? Oh my god. The door is open. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Are we about to stumble upon a murder? This must have been so much fun. Must have well, been so for the guests, at least. Formal wear required. Valentine's ball. Uh, 19 arrested in deviant raid. Montreal police arrested 19 persons in an Early Saturday raid at Maney's Lounge. Major snowstorm paralyzes the city. Shop owners against Neil Mental Hospital. Another bloody Valentine. Valentine's Day concluded in a 
horror last Friday with the murder of an Ultramont resident. A worried neighbor called the authorities at 11.15 p.m. after hearing loud shots from next door. When police arrived, they found a lifeless body of a 34-year-old man. The authorities have refused to identify the victim or provide any details about the circumstances of his death. No suspect has been apprehended yet, but de de Detective Mar Maurice Tr Tremblay... Wait, that's the guy that's investigating us! Right? That's the guy that's, uh, in, in or, uh, interrogating us. Ask anyone with information to come forward as soon as possible. Interesting. Okay. Uh, any secret? Linda's been putting these <laughs> everywhere lately. It's weird that Bernard allows it. This is so fucked. This is the old, this is the 50s for you right here. I mean, still to a certain degree today, we're still working on these issues. Uh, let's check in here. Mr. Spade? Uh-oh. Mr. Spade? He's gonna be dead. I love the music so good. <laughs> it's snooping time. We leave the- he has so many film rolls. Oh, he made a red room in his bathroom? I mean, I guess. I mean, that would be very convenient for the murder that he's a photographer, so he's gonna have a lot of photos of everything. Red means scary. You just he put in a new light bulb, I guess. Or is he a murderer? This is just film stuff, right? Why is it so mysterious? Oh my god, he's got pictures of me? Never mind. Tampering with objects may lead to positive or negative consequences. What the hell? Um, what is this? He's, he's, is this me? He's a damn creep, dude. We're, we don't throw this away, right? Because then he's going to know we're coming. We're not going to... We can't tamper with this. Because then we get... I mean, we can... Because it's only throw away. If it was like, take it as evidence, then yes. But if we interact with this, we're going to leave a trace. We shouldn't leave a trace. We should just tell the police about this. Because um, he's going to know. He's going to know that we're, that we're tampering with his evidence. Uh, I mean, if we clean the bathtub, he's also going to know, right? <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't clean that. No cleaning. Just need to pretend that that we weren't here. That we didn't see this. Get the frick out of here. And we shouldn't clean because then we clean off the fingerprints. Right? I don't know if there were fingerprints stuff in the 50s. Probably. Clarington Hotel reception desk. Beth speaking. What can I do for you on this very fine day? Uh, Beth, I need your help. I need Andrew's help. Oh, no. Choices. Choose who between Beth or Andrew you want as your acolyte? Acolyte? What's an acolyte? Who do we do? Beth or Andrew? Everyone's saying Beth. I was gonna say Beth regardless. <laughs> Let's do Beth. Beth, I need your help. Sophie? What's going on? I, I think Mr. Spade's stalking me while I work. Really? I knew it. You did? I mean, I knew there was something fishy about him. He just has creep written all over his face, you know? <laughs> How did you find out? I found a dark room. He took pictures of me. I... I found them hanging over the bathtub. He set up a kind of... dark room. Pictures of you? Doing what? Um... I can't believe I'm about to say this, Cleaning. but... Sometimes... When I clean the rooms, oh, I, I see. get a little curious and, um, you know, snoop through our guest stuff. Oh, he has evidence. Jeez. Fuck. And Mr. Spade caught you in the act, I suppose? Yes. I didn't even realize that was what think, it was. I think we should call the police. No, that's a terrible idea. But Sophie, that man has pictures of you running your hands through people's Shit. stuff. Shit! But I didn't steal anything. I was just snooping. I, I was just cleaning. I know, I know, but say a client reports something missing, those pictures would put a big red target on your back. 
Dang. I could throw the pictures out so I do nothing. Let's ask. I could throw the pictures out and see what she says. I think she's going to say, like, no, don't do it. But I'm curious. I could always throw them out. Yeah, not your worst idea, but you found the pictures drying over the bath, right? Yeah. I'm no photographer, but I've been in one of those. Oh, what if we turn on the lights? You have? Yeah, I modeled for a while. And then, anyway, then it all burns away. What I'm getting at is, those pictures were developed recently, but it doesn't mean uh, there are yeah. elsewhere. I guess I could keep looking. You want me to snoop? <laughs> There's a safe here. Well, I didn't look through the entire room, but she's there smart. Is Beth a is a smarty. Here. I bet you anything there'll be more pictures in there. Do you have the safe combination then? I'm pretty sure it's locked. I don't think you can get the safe combination, doesn't it? I guess there's like a master key for it because they have to reset Merda. it every time. Those idiots. Merda. What? I can't find the combination list. The night staffs Probably lost it again. Anyway, we always ask that clients write down their code somewhere so they don't have to call reception a dozen times. Maybe you can have a look around the room, and I call you if Mr. Creep That's very comes back. convenient. You know, so you can get out of there in time. Okay, yeah. I'm the snoopiest Thank snooper. You. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, and Beth? Mm -hmm. Please keep this between us. Of course. Beth is, Beth is a hero. Let's go. Beth and I are on something. Got an achievement. You show, chose Beth as your acolyte. All right, let me look around. We got more pictures. Inspect. Uh, why would I throw this away? Uh, 99th Infantry Division. Belgium, November 1944. Could be 1944, maybe. That's a password. Okay. If reception gave him a code, maybe he wrote it down somewhere. Let's see? Uh, Birds of North America, the fifth edition. All right, whatever. Uh, unlocked. Locked. There has to be a key somewhere. Oh, what is he doing? Oh, maybe he's he's trying to solve the murders. Maybe. He's a sussy baka, that's for sure. All right, what do we got? The oratory. I just went there for the first time and God, it, it's been years, hasn't it? Is he stalking me? What does it say? Special occasion, wedding, funeral? Wait, I can just throw everything away, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, Montreal tramways. Okay, he's got some tickets. We have the lake. X marks a spot in the lake. I don't know if there's two X's. I don't know if that's important. X marks the spot. But there's no way this is just a treasure hunt. Is this Shadows of Doubt? This is Shadows of Doubt, but without throwing trash cans in people's faces. Uh, we were like, I took mom skating there just a few weeks ago. Uh, he's literally just talking to us. Why Harry's? Lots of burger places closest to the hotel. Does he think we are the murderer? Harry's Diner, too. Were we ever there at the same time? There was a code? Uh, wait, it was up there? Wait, what? There's a, there's numbers on here, yeah. 20, oh, yeah, wait. Let's talk about plain text here. Oh, it doesn't say it. 29? I don't know. The, the, that doesn't look like numbers to me. What, maybe? These look like Okay, they numbers. do look like, I mean, what is this then? What is this, sort this? Of. Yeah, not really. These look like numbers. 28? Sort of. Oh, five, fifty-two, two, twenty-five. Yeah, okay. That could be a nine as well, though. Okay. All right. So we have the potential code here. We'll see. We got that. I just want to make sure I inspect everything. This was the sale where I found that winter jacket that Mom loves. Were you there too? Maybe we should speed run because we're gonna get. I want to read all of this, but I feel like he's gonna come back if we take too long. Morgan, is that your real name? Here, Mr. Morgan, you have to stop writing to this address. Lindsay died two years ago. I do not know what happened between the two of you, but please let us grieve in peace. Thank you, Lindsay's mother. Uh, so many things. You get a bunch of letters, a whole stack of letters. Return to sender, Paul Morgan. 
Uh, we got some scam. It's a scam on there. You see that? Man's trash is another maid's trash. Scam. <laughs> what is this? The storm must be getting oh. worse. Leave it on. You stupid? Don't tamper with anything. Uh, request to move to 507. Why did you want to change rooms? Uh, the present letter is to confirm the reception of your transfer. Okay. Regrettably, the room in question is currently occupied by an extended stay guest. We are therefore unable to grant your request. Thank you for understanding. Please contact. Okay. Interesting, interesting. I'd forget my own head if I didn't write everything down. You're gonna forget to take your I own guess pills? We have that in common. We're not cleaning anything. We are not cleaning. There's a key. What do we have here? Do we take the key? I guess we do. We take the key, we open this, and then we close it back up, right? Come on, we need to not leave a trace. He's gonna know. Hmm. What does he got? He's. He's a sneaky man. Uh, patient. Ten years in a psychiatric hospital. And it looks like you oh. left with a long list of diagnoses. He's insane. Anxiety, neurosis, character disorder, chronic insomnia, short-term memory loss, meprobamate, whatever the frick that is. Did you get shot? Uh, Paul. Uh, I'm gonna close it back up. Lock it. I can't lock it. Well, uh, fuck me. I guess they're gonna know. Let's uh, open the safe. No combination. No we, entry. We have the combination though. Wait, huh? Maybe here. Do not forget to buy more film. Wait, huh? I cannot place the. Can I place the key back? Is that a thing I can do? Wait, is it actually this detailed? Oh my god, that's sick! <laughs> that's so cool. Okay, you actually have to be a real big brain gamer. All right, let me check in here. What is that? Just open these. I'm gonna have to close these again. Where's the there? You're pawning off your possessions. What do you need the money for? Fifteen dollars. What do you? Oh, uh, World War Two victory medal bronze is fifteen dollars. Are you fucking with me? <laughs> what a scam. It's not that. Oh, wait, well. That should be more, man. Hey, Mr. Morgan. Rough. How are you supposed to support yourself when no one will give you a job or a place to live? We're, we're having Stockholm Syndrome right now. Dear Mr. Morgan, I understand your situation, and I'm sorry that you had to spend so many years in the hospital. However, this does not change the fact that you don't have the qualifications for the job. And even if you did, I could not hire someone in your situation. Other staff members simply would not feel safe around you. I would ask you not to contact me anymore. Jesus. Um, Sag. Nothing here. Are we stupid? I've snooped all over the shop. Vinin, so French, English, English, French. Um, uh, was this not the? This feels like it should have been the code. It says seven heart, two G D. I don't know. These look like numbers. Behind the TV? Sort of. Let's see. Something, but... Where would you put it? If I was... Oh, this is dirty, but I can't clean it. I have to resist the urge to clean! Because he's gonna know. Did we check this yet? There's another holy Bible. They're labeled. I mean... I don't know. It seems like we can't even attempt to open the... The thing without having the... The locker code. Check the letter in front of the TV again. Something on the back? Oh, hello there. Lindsay's address. Aha. A reminder for the safety I system? see. Okay. It was the note in front of the TV. Lindsay's address. Infantry Division. Year of Hospital Discharge. Okay. Lindsay. So, Infantry Division was 99. Year of Hospital Discharge. We don't know. But I wasn't here. Um, year of Hospital Discharge was 19... Or 57, probably. 57. So, 99, 57 at the end. And then... The first one is my address, or not my address. Who am I? I'm not Lindsay. Uh, it's here. Lindsay. What is this? T30. Why Harry's? We're Sophia, of course. I already forgot some out. Uh, there was some. Oh, this. This is this letter. There was a letter. This one. Right? This is going to have the address on it. Lindsay, 34th Psalm Street. Okay. 34. 
So it's thirty four ninety nine fifty seven. Uh, fifty seven. Did, um, did I do it? I didn't do it. I fucked it up. Did I mess something up? Did we do the? That's we can't. A Wait, what? Lot of film. It doesn't say I can open it. Oh, I click it here. I see. <laughs> it's a very tactile game. I need to get used to that. That's very cool though. Here's a gun. <laughs> I got an achievement. Not safe for work. You opened the safe. He's got a damn gun, dude. Hey, Sophie, you should probably put this down. Yeah, you should probably put no. this down. We can throw it away. That's so interesting, though. I wonder what happens if you throw all this stuff away. Like, if you just mess up his room, you probably M ruin something. And H. M and H. Now my fingerprints are on it. No! Are they? M and H. Are they guests here? Are those the fancy people? Uh, I can't, I can't read this. Arrived at the hotel. Room not ready yet. Had to wait in the lobby. M and H come in. Both nicely dressed. M was holding a flower bouquet. Heard them talking to the receptionist, saying how nice the oratory was. Picked up some flyers to find out what the oratory, what oratory they were talking about. Uh, room finally ready. No sign of M or H. Decided to unpack and install my setup in the bathroom. Still no sign of M and H. I've probably gone again. Probably gone out again. Finished developing this afternoon's pictures. Unable to sleep. Heard weird noises from the corridor. No idea who or what it was. Inspection mode. That was taken in the lobby. Let's see. Dude, how does he get these insane close-ups of people? I feel like photography in this time was not this advanced. Where you could just like sneaky take perfect pictures of someone. Uh, this is written in red suddenly. Unable to sleep. Weird noises. Did he lose his pen or something? Okay. Next page. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> Going through their trash? You really want to find out what M and H are up to, don't you? Interesting. M and H arrived at the hotel, left, found a pawn shop to get some money, but no idea where they went. Back in my room, I have to kill time. Okay, so he's literally just snooping on all of them. Searched the trash, found a receipt from a place called Harry's Diner, but with drawings and weird symbols on it. Okay, what is this guy up to? I mean, you're also, we're also snooping, to be fair, yeah. Why are you following them? And who's sneaking out at night? So many questions. Interesting. They arrived at the hotel's restaurant for breakfast. I left the hotel again. Uh, we're skating on a frozen lake. Fell on the ice while trying to take a picture. Each might have seen me. We're at the launch and left a ticket on the table. Ticket was a weird symbol on it. Had a weird symbol on it, just like the Harry's Diner receipt. I decided to leave. Arrived at the hotel shortly after me. H looked angry. Something happened during the taxi ride, but what? No sign of M and H since early afternoon. Tonight we will try. We'll try to find out who's sneaking out at night. Interesting. This looks like Beaver Lake. It is Beaver Lake, Mount Royal. All right, very cool. Inspect. And I, I can't inspect. I would should probably, I mean, I, this is where you could throw away all evidence of all the photos. But I feel like, I feel like we're not going to, we're not going to tamper with, I mean, we could get rid of all the photos of us, right? But it might also, I think he is onto something. I think he may not be a creep after all. Maybe he is onto some, uh, throw the gun away, but then he can't defend himself and then he's going to die. We're, we're, we're just snooping. We're the ultimate snooper. We have evidence. Uh, the gun is a safety risk. I mean, he's going to know, right? He's going to know. Maybe he's a private detective. Maybe he's an undercover cop. I don't want to be Did you intend messing with for that me stuff. To your little dark room? Yeah, the photos or might actually have evidence. Just fall down? Like, maybe, maybe they're going to frame me, and then these photos can be vital evidence to my whereabouts, and there could be a motive to me, you know? Relock the safe. I don't think that. Do we set it? Is it going to? I can't. I can't inspect it. <laughs> Actually set the code back to... We'll be fine. I think he's a private detective. I'm just gonna leave it here. I can't close it again. Okay. So we have pretty much snooped on everything. We know it all, but he's not gonna know that we were here. We're like a fucking ghost. And I'm out of here. Goodbye. Okay, let's see. Uh, what are you thinking? And H. Maybe... Maybe back ah. in the logbook. Do I call her? Let's see. Uh, complete. This is just... Just cleaning stuff. Close the door. Close the door. Very important. <laughs> you, can I call the phone from here? Can I call her again? 
I think I'm just gonna go to bed. Did I close? Yeah, yeah, we already have the bathroom door as well. Okay, I think with this, we leave it in the exact state that we found. We, all the lights were on. The TV was on. The radio was off. Uh, the windows are open. I didn't clean any of the trash. I think this is good. Let's go. I, I think that the dark room was like slightly ajar, I think. Wasn't it? I don't remember actually touching the... I think this was open, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was open. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to accidentally uh, be found here. Okay, we're gonna leave. Reception. Oh. M and H could be in danger. Okay, so I, I I thought there were choices that I could either call it here or just go to the reception. Okay, we're gonna call. Call, please. We're getting caught. We're gonna get fired for cleaning. <laughs> Clarington Hotel reception desk. Beth speaking. It's me. Oh, hold on. Andrew. Andrew. No. Cover for me, will you? What's going on? Hey, Tintin. Just do it. Tintin? Sorry about that. So, found anything on Mr. Spade? Well, Mr. Spade isn't even his real name. What? What is it then? Paul Morgan. Ooh, I can see why he changed it. So, did you open the safe? What was in it? I need your help again. Actually... I need your help again. We should probably give her some information, right? I found out Mr. Morgan isn't only stalking me, but two other people as well. Oh. I think I trust Beth. They're that guests. seems nice. I don't know their names, though. I I was hoping you could find them in the logbook. Well, Snoopy, although it may <laughs> seem like it, I'm not actually clairvoyant, so I'll need something to narrow the search. Do you know anything about them? We know a lot. They're referred to as M and H. Mr. Morgan refers to them as H and M. Well, that could mean a lot of things. It could be their initials or Yeah, I okay, true. Husband and mistress. Oh. I, I hadn't thought I of had that. not thought of that either. Yeah. I'll need a <laughs> it's got a LA Noir vibes, yeah, definitely. Hmm. Okay. Uh there are a couple. Obviously, we have all this info. I'm assuming if you didn't have find this, you wouldn't be able I mean, I guess you would have read this regardless. Uh, let's see this. This From first. what I can gather, it seems they're together. Okay, so they must be staying in the same room. Do we have a lot of couples at the moment? Uh, well, yes. <laughs> it was Valentine's Day last Friday, remember? Oh. Oh, indeed. Oh, indeed. Hmm, would you look oh. at that? There's a couple staying in room 5 Hector and Marcella. Hector and Marcella Cruz. Hector Ooh. and Marcella. Got him? H and M. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. She's smart. Uh, what do we know about the cruises? Do you know anything about the cruises? Well, I saw them come in and out of the hotel a few times. Called a taxi for them once. The missus does the smiling and the other frowns a lot. <laughs> Nothing to write home about. There's do you have people? room 509 on your to-do list by any chance? I do, actually. Then maybe you go clean it and have a little look-see? Yeah, nothing unusual here. Just a maid cleaning a room. That's my girl. <laughs> I'll call you if I find anything. We're sneaky. Just be careful, okay? Let's go. I will. We're snooping. I promise. Alrighty. So we didn't... It's gonna be suspicious that that was the only room we didn't clean, right? The one room with all the evidence in it, but... Legal snooping. I don't know if it's legal, but... <laughs> No one's gonna stop me from snooping. Knock, knock. And we left that I room. Put my keys in the break room again. Oh, come on. Break room. We. I hope that we did everything correct. What is this? Rat poison? Yo, yo. Why can't I throw everything away, dude? <laughs> I'm so rude. Just leave that shit there. What is it gonna harm anyone? A kid's gonna find it and be like, uh, okay, wait, why did you go? Why did you open the door again? Did you just made me walk away with the door wide open? Did you almost got me busted, dummy? Okay, where's the break room? Is the break room at the end of this hallway? I, I didn't see it at the elevator. Am I blind? Break room. I'm assuming that's this. There's a janitor's mm, closet. I wait, do I have to go all the way back to the fucking down the stairs? Okay. I'm my keys to enter room 509. I, uh, I gotta go all the way room. downstairs again. I thought that was like a brain... Because she said it was her floor, right? So I assume that... It's like, I, I guess she just has a floor assigned to her. All right, here we go. Morpheus, thank you for the 12. 
It's a very impressive game, man. It's such a cool concept. Like, <laughs> you're a, you're a maid and you're snooping on people. All right, break room over here. Is there anything here we can snoop upon? It's More locked. It's oh, not on my watch. Snoopy the time. Look at each other. You can tell it's the real deal. Oh. What's going on here? Disposable tissues. It's me. Um, close it. Don't don't leave any trace. We cannot. We cannot be found. Can we open any of these other lockers? Fine. Keep your people don't go off limits. He, he, he. Oh, Jean. Half the washing machines are out of order. Because of this, I won't be able to fix our current load in time, and Beth will be forced to offer guests an apology discount. Please fix the machines before Bernard kills me. Rebecca. Okay. Damn machines. Look the ice cream. I had my keys with me during break. I must have forgotten them in the break Like the ice cream machines at McDonald's? It's locked. Oh my god. I guess I'll have to get Linda's master key instead. Jesus Christ, we're going from one place to another. I'm gonna check this first. Rebecca's had her hands full lately. Oh. We're getting the master key? Oh yeah, we did forget the key. I rem That was what happened when we were in the break room. Um... Hypocrite... Bitch! I didn't do anything! What did Linda do? Oh, and wait, it's not to whom? me. Wait, what? Linda, my wife will be at her parents' tonight, so come by my house at 8 p.m. and make sure you bring the new. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's, it's Linda's office? Wait, they put this. Wait, what? Excuse me? That's the tea? Am I cleaning this off? I guess I should. <laughs> I'm cleaning it. Can we throw this away? Oh! <laughs> Wait, that's spicy. <laughs> no, I'm leaving that. <laughs> I'm leaving that. I, I cleaned like half the evidence. I, I made her look better. Because now they'll know, right? Because I'm assuming... Wait. Leave out the bitch. <laughs> That'll do. I'll just have to make sure I, like I don't forget to return it. You can put it. everything back. Okay. Uh, we're just leaving that there. No, no, no. I'm not throwing that away because then they know, right? I mean, it would be very spicy. Did the dude's wife do it? I'm assuming. Something like that. Oh, and that's why they were talking. Wendy? It's Sophie. Are you all right? I see. You are all right? I... No, I guess not. You see what's happening here? Leave me alone. I don't want to talk. So, uh, yeah, they were talking about firing her. So the wife made him fire Wendy because she found out that they were cheating. I see. I overheard you and Jax earlier. Who wrote on Linda's door? I'm sorry for this. Is that what's going on here? I don't know who is who exactly. I need to... F <laughs> I heard, overheard you and Jax earlier. I shouldn't do that. Who wrote on Linda's door? I, I don't mean to disturb you, but... Did you see who wrote that message on Linda's door? What? The lipstick message. Do you know who wrote it? I... I have no idea what you're talking about. Please, Sophie. Go. Alright. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Alright, there's some spicy... There's so many different uh, mysteries happening all at once. I'm opening all of it's your locked. lockers. Oh. All your locker belong to me. It's locked. <laughs> oh my god, I'm the ultimate snooper! I'm the snoopiest of snoopers. So Sophie. There's always room for improvement, right? Some guests have mentioned that their room were still a bit messy after you went through them. Knowing you, I wouldn't be surprised if you simply forgot some of your tasks. If that is the case, please consult the chambermaid guide that was given to you in your first week. Wait. Let me guess, the guy that was the creep said that? Or what now? Adriana's legacy? Tips? Haven't gotten any tips so far today. What the hell? Feels bad, man. All right, this is literally my locker, though. Oh, we got some lore. lore. Dear sister, we need to talk about Kevin. The other day, Petrick received some pamphlets from a friend from the States, and now he is convinced that our child is a sister. Oh, come on. How is it even possible? The boy is only five years old. Dude, fuck, fuck the 50s, man. How are we still... So I cannot help but think... 
If Petrick is alright, if Kevin- Okay, okay, alright, I'm not reading anymore, this shit sucks. Okay, um, I mean, it is- it is based on the time after all, can I read this? Uh, here are the chambermaid's guide I talked to you about. Come see if you have questions concerning the job or the staff. I can tell you who you should hang out with and who you should avoid. A vet? Excuse me. Carol, I hope you're having a great first week here. Valentine's Day is always a very busy time, but do not worry. I sh it should calm down soon. Yesterday, I saw you watch while we were playing cards at lunch. You are welcome to join us today if you wish. Why are people leaving... I guess they, they slipped them through the through the vent thingy. They're leaving like notes in each other's uh, lockers. This goes beyond constructive criticism. It's just a personal crusade. Uh, Wendy, do you think I don't see the way you talk to guests, the way you smile at them and call them sweetie while you fill their coffee cups, the way you laugh at their jokes and bat your eyes like a stupid, te stupid teenage girl. I'm not sure if you're doing it for the tip or to get the employee of the month reward, but either way, this is unacceptable. And I won't even mention the way you wear your uniform. This is a respected hotel, not a pleasure house. Although I've always had a problem with your behavior, I tolerated it as long as the guests were happy. But now that you're getting engaged, I can no longer remain silent about it. What should, would Jack say if he saw you? I'm sure he would be as ashamed as I am. Maybe you've got Bernard fooled like every other man, but if you don't change your behavior, I'll find a way to convince him to fire you. This is your only warning. So Linda? So maybe Wendy wrote the message. <laughs> so Wendy wrote the message on the door. Okay, so there's a fucking like super love triangle or love qu qu love square happening here. I think of what could happen to Wendy if someone found these. Cause, cause Jax is a wife, right? <laughs> Or is, yeah, what the fuck is going on? That's in Susan's <laughs> favorite activity, talking behind other people's backs. I can't believe Miss Perfect got the employee of the month reward again. I'm sure she won't even use the mixture she won. She's too dumb to understand how it works. Poor Jack, he deserves so much better than that. Okay. And did you see the look on Sophie's face when Bernard first showed the mixture? You'd swear that weirdo had never seen one in her life. Anyway, join me at 11.15 for a smoke break. You guys all fucking suck, man. Oh, Jax is with Wendy. Okay, okay. We're, uh, sorry, it's it's a little much all at once to take it in, so um, we're just discovering it, though. Um, wait, whoops. Wait, what? Can I just... Well, I think your haircut looks good. She has something to say about everything, too. That's so cool. So now we have to provide soap to the guests. This is getting ridiculous. What's next? A hair dryer in every room? Yes, that is next. Uh, speaking of hair, have you seen Rebecca's new haircut? I didn't think she could... What the fuck? Rude. Zoom in? Can't zoom in. Smoking. That's what happens when you smoke. You become a piece of shit like that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. They seem to all be smoking. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> To all employees, as you're probably aware, Valentine's Day is upon us, and we are almost completely booked for the weekend. I know this is time, this is the time for colds, but I will not accept anyone missing a work shift in the next few days. I want the rooms cleaner than ever. I also wish to remind you of your continued partnership with the Weston's Department Store. Store, take every opportunity you have to suggest the store for our guest shopping needs. Thanks to this partnership, special prizes from Weston's will once again be rewarded to our best employee at the end of the month. I see. Um, Mrs. Beaumont seemed perfectly nice to me. The divorcee from 204 has moved to room 507 and she wants more sheets again. Sophie, please take care of it. I do not want to speak to people like her. Dude, Linda, you are such a turbo bitch. <laughs> I shouldn't have gotten rid of the text. Can I put it back? Can I write an extra message? Can I write it twice? Um, if you see the freak from room 505 loitering around the hotel, please tell him to stop. Bernard says he's scaring some of our guests, Linda. The hell, Linda? Oh, Andrew. I hope someone here shares your passion for reading. Uh, let's talk about books and stuff over a nice cup of coffee. Two people grab the thing. Uh, Bernard asked me to remind you that we have a very important guest in room 602. Please satisfy any of his needs as quickly as possible and without questions. Linda. Linda. You're not even trying to hide the daggers in your eyes. Oh, look at that. Look at the freaking the look at her face. Say, yeah, that's the same thing from before. 
Uh, a message from Bernard for Valentine's Day. Please leave chocolates on the beds of rooms occupied by married couples only. Okay. Anyway, uh, that was cool. Could be stupid in there. Okay, we learned a lot about the people who work in here. Linda's very angry. That's, uh, to be understood. And she's also apparently cheating or something, unless I misunderstood that. I should be able to open 509 yes. now. Are right, we going back, back to, to the fifth floor. floor? Back to the fifth floor. Governess? Yeah, Linda's not exactly, uh, locked. I'm just checking. Eugene must be running around trying to keep the hotel in one piece. This do be a very juicy game, for sure. <laughs> Your keys in the break room? I couldn't grab them. Hey, you. Oh, hey, Beth. On break already? Sadly, no. I have an express delivery to make to the sixth floor. Isn't that Jacques or Andrew's job? Well, they're both busy, so... What about you? I thought you'd be in 509. I'm heading up now. I just had to grab Linda's master key before I could continue <clears throat> our... investigation. Oh, I see. Well, this has been quite the day so far, hasn't it? I can't remember the last time work was this interesting. Yeah, that's definitely one way to put it. That's <laughs> not all, though. I just saw something on Linda's door! While I was looking for my keys, I found some graffiti on Linda's door. What kind of graffiti are we talking about? The words, hypocrite bitch in red lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> wonder who could have written it. She's if I had to bet, I'd put my money on Wendy. Linda's been treating her like her personal punching bag as of late. Wendy shouldn't have done this. Linda's being too harsh. Linda fucking sucks. Yeah, Linda's been pretty bad to Wendy. I'm not surprised she snapped. Remember that day when Wendy came to work? Yeah, why is her nameplate different? The staff, Lambert? the clients, everyone complimented her. Then Linda came along and sent her right back home to straighten it out because her cosmetic choices were distracting the clientele. Ugh. I'm not trying to excuse Oh, it's her really Elizabeth. Here, <laughs> I think Linda's under a lot of pressure right now. It can't be easy managing so many people with Bernard breathing down your neck. You know, I don't know how you do it, Sophie. Maybe it's because my empathy only goes so far, but I admire that you're able to feel for I just love about that. anyone <laughs> feel wait we get romance that i got indicates flirting options yes let's go <laughs> i'm like sending it myself in other people's shoes especially if there are people i find fascinating like you <laughs> wow Woo! the way you turned that compliment right back around at me was <laughs> well, this was a lovely chat, but I better see if Eugene is around maintenance. Hopefully, he can help me find this thing for our esteemed guest. Yeah, we both got a lot on our plates today. I can't wait. You didn't to shoot it down. About our friends H and M. Take care. You too. Let's go. That was cool. I had no idea that was even going to be an option. All right. Uh, leave basement, stay a bit longer. What I want to quickly try before I leave um, is can I open the door to the break room with the master key so then I can just put the Linda's key back so I don't get fucking scolded by Linda. That's what I want to quickly try. I don't think the game's going to allow me to do that. Right, the okay, key that's all I wanted to try. Yes, it's rooms. I'll have to get my keys later. At least I can get into 509 now. Okay, that's just what I wanted to try. We can't do that, so that's not an option. We're all right. We basically looked in everyone's place, whatever. Um, I just want to see. Worst master key of all time. Okay, 509, right? Getting into 509 will be no problem with the master key. Let's get to the bottom of all this. What if we just open someone? We can literally just go into random people's rooms. Are we going to get arrested? Oh, boy. Someone's been living it up. Do we have to clean? We can clean this, right? Wait, can I just clean random rooms? I'm gonna clean your room. Wait, was there a sign on the front? I don't know if there was a sign on the front. I'm cleaning. I don't know if I should clean. I'm gonna do it, though. People are gonna get upset with me if I don't clean. Caution floor wet. What did that say? They stole the floor wet sign? You fucking kidding me? <laughs> Not exactly a cherished gift. He just left it behind like this. <laughs> Dear my beloved Diane, or Leon, Leanne, much as I would have loved to spend this Valentine's Day with the woman who's about to become 
my Mrs. Hubert. I'll happily make do with the lifetime of Valentine's Days awaiting us. Enjoy your week in Montreal. I'll be eagerly- Wait, they're cheating right before marriage? Love Gregory, don't let Simone rope you into anything crazy. Tell her I need my bride back in one piece. Wait! <laughs> Why is everyone fucking cheating? <laughs> what the fuck, man? Okay, pick that up. <laughs> People dance. We're in this hotel. They said this hotel is class? I don't know if this hotel is class. <laughs> All right, clean window, can we? Oh, we're cleaning off the decorations? Wait, what? I'm cleaning up your gifts? I feel like this is not, all right, well. <laughs> I mean, I guess, do I just? Oh, this is from the previous guests. We're cleaning the rooms because we're making space for new rooms. Oh, I'm assuming? Anyway, I think that's what's happening here. Turn off the TV. So we need to clean this shit off so the next guests are not going to be upset. Uh, what do we got? Le Petit Regal or whatever. Did he really just scold us for talking? These Montreal cab drivers, I swear. I know. he. I thought he'd appreciate us trying to make conversation. Thank God for good old-fashioned pen and paper at least. <laughs> I love the, love the explanation to this. Yeah, it takes me back. At least Sister Gabrielle isn't here to confiscate them anymore. So, like I was saying, are you ready for your week-long bridal shower, Mrs. Hubert? Stop it, Simone. I'm not Mrs. until we walk down the aisle. And this week is for thinking about anything but that. That's right. We're making the most out of this week before I lose you to the jaws of married life. I would never. I won't be another Andrea, I promise. Leonie's going to kick us out if you keep making me laugh. The Montreal tourism... Okay, well, fuck these people. <laughs> Brother, can I not? Oh, I have to hold it for a while. I love that they left all this shit here, man. Oh. I'm gonna throw this away. Yes, leave the gossipy magazines. Dude, you guys are freaking pigs, man. Clean the toilet. <laughs> they left so much champagne everywhere. Clean the... What's the story behind this? Yeah, they left their shoe here. <laughs> Wait, is there something in the shoe? Uh, is it covered in chocolate? How did that happen? Clean. You guys are getting dirty, man. How do you even get a toilet that dirty? Or a bathroom? Uh, clean the toilet. Sorry for the mask. No tip, though? <laughs> man, these people suck. Can we call the... Can we call the husband with the phone? Wait a minute. I should wait till I have more to that report so before calling up. Beth. Just, I mean, clean the. I forgot to clean the trash. Did I? Is that what happened? Okay, look at that beautiful room. It's all cleaned up. No shenanigans. Clean the mirror better. All right, clean it poorly. Oh. Oh, there's a little more. Balloon. Wait, there's a balloon. I didn't see the balloon. The balloon. Oh, hi. <laughs> How did I miss that? And that thing also needs to be straightened out. Can I do it? Yes! Let's go. Look at that. Perfect. Like nobody was here. Wait, it's actually like <laughs> strangely satisfying. Look at that. It's all cleaned up. Like nobody was here. Close. Okay. I guess we will clean this up. Sure. We're cleaning after all. 507. Do not disturb. Oh. Well, that's one less room to clean today. I won't complain. I won't complain. Okay, we have. I'm doing 508 first. Huh. Oh, never I mind. I do have 508 on my list, but disturb I won't. For now. For now. All right, here we go. How slippery. <laughs> Okie dokie. What the? F Excuse me. They got gifts. More work for poor Rebecca. Same day Me laundry service. A tuxedo, pair of pants, shirts, and a tie. Cruise. Okay, I can't. I'm not. Looks like someone had quite the shopping spree. I shouldn't clean up stuff like that, right? Close the door. Sure, I'll close it behind me. So I don't get. Sn don't take pictures of me anymore. Nothing in there. So can I open the safe? No combination. 
no entry. Okay, we need to find a combination to the safe again. This is a fancy hotel, man. So we should clean, right? They didn't have a sign on their door, so we can leave evidence behind that we were here. Can I not clean the corners there? Clean. This all perfect. Perfect. Clean the toilet. Clean the wall behind the toilet. You're not going to clean that? That's disgusting. Looks like someone tore that note apart. Ooh. But I'm missing some pieces. Uh -huh. I can't make out what's written. Maybe I'll find more of those torn paper pieces if I keep cleaning the room. I see. Dude, how did you get... Did you puke all over the mirror? Any any people working in in a hotel? Is this is this regular dirt? Is this what you guys have to deal with? This shit is fucking disgusting. These are I lovely. <laughs> I wish you'd had more confidence in yourself. I still love you as much as I did on the day that I met you. I will always remember the first time I saw you in that beautiful blue red dress on the. It seems like only yesterday when I first. Ten years ago, I promised I would always love you, and today I vow pledge again what I pledged ten years ago. Everything changed the day you came into my life. I hope it will change again when a new member enters our family. I hope we can soon expand our family with a, you know, when dads use the bathroom. <laughs> Just somehow managed to get poop over the mirror. What the fuck? Uh, ooh. I'll hold off on throwing this out just yet. The food's practically untouched. You should cover it up, though. It's going to get super stale if you don't put this on top. Hmm. What were you apologizing for? Sorry, were please. were forgiven? I'm sorry, please forgive me. These people seem very normal. Give me the floor, please. Free food. Yes. Okay, clean. That's not. That's dirt. That's disgusting. Why don't I clean the floor? Okay, what is this? It's. I want to check this first. Uh, can we. Wait, what? Expenses Montreal vacation. Uh, taxi, $2. Hotel, restaurant, $7? Total. Dude, this shit is freaking pre inflation prices. Holy fuck. Hotel, restaurant, $2. I mean, I guess maybe they just got a coffee. Florence restaurant flowers for two dollars that shit is, this is crazy harry's diner three dollars man i wish i dude imagine room service is ten dollars that's insanely expensive compared to the rest um oh i i guess they i mean that is still the same to be fair in current current year what even is that Oh, the TV is always... I mean, they bought something from room service. I, I thought that what we're doing right now is room service, but that's not what room service is. It's like ordering food and stuff from, like, hotel this from your room. I looking for you back in Texas. Was he really just a co-worker? Uh, dear son, I cannot believe you decided to renew your vows so far away from the family. Your father and I are very disappointed, and so are your sisters. Montreal, what a strange destination. I would not be surprised if this was another one of your wife's ideas... I met Luciana in town yesterday. She has five children, three boys, two girls, and is pregnant with her sixth. Juan or Juan has just bought them that nice house on the corner of Prado and Ramos. Imagine if you had married her like you were supposed to. You would have your own family by now. Yesterday, I also drove by your home to get the mail. As I was leaving, I met a man who was looking for you. I think he is one of your colleagues from work, but I am not sure. I told him you were in Montreal and would be back next week. When do you come back exactly? I hope you can be there for your uncle's birthday party on Friday. I will make your favorite cake. Your mother. Well, I wonder why they wouldn't want to renew their vi vows with the rest of their family if they fucking suck. <laughs> Six kids. Yeah, Jesus Christ. There's so many. Um, Montreal. Meeting with John. Regional meeting, blah, 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 blah. Wedding anniversary, don't forget vows. Uh, the Holy Bible, put that back, I guess, no? Wow, you look like a couple out of a magazine. Oh, it's gonna be the code, uh, 48 or 14. Oh, they, wait, they got married on, uh, oh, they got married on Valentine's Day. I see. We got prayer beads. Someone's been sleeping here. I should leave it as it is. Uh, wait. Oh, no. Someone's been sleeping on the couch? Wait a minute. 
Uh oh. Someone did something bad. 90, this is the same book as before. Wait, I'm getting called? Wait, we can s inspect this? Wait, I need to know. I'm not sure how the children are affected by what goes on at a bar on a Friday night. But I'm no lieutenant, so. I'm gonna. I need to pick up this fucking phone. Uh. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? What? Excuse me? Is Beth being kidnapped? It's the breather, dude. <laughs> Call reception? Clarington Hotel. Let's go! She's alive! <laughs> Beth? Sophie? Did you just call me? No, I didn't. Then who called? Oh, what do you mean, who called? Someone just called, and they said nothing. All I could hear was static and breathing. Whoa. The Creeperama just keeps... Creeperama. Uh, hold on. Hey, Archie. Uh, what's up? Give me a second, Sophie. Okay, You're... so turns out Archie here patched a call through to 509 moments ago. Oh. Did he write... Did he recognize the voice? Did he recognize the caller's voice? You think... You think it might have been Mr. Morgan? Yeah. Let me ask. Okay, so it was a man's voice, but... You can't be sure if it was our creep. Hmm. Anything else? Did he notice anything else? He says... He says he heard a faint bell in the background. It sounded like... Uh, he's close to the elevator. Up, so he assumed the caller was one of our clients. You didn't see Mr. Morgan come back to the hotel, did you? No. I understand why you're creeped out, but I don't see how he could possibly know you're in 509. I mean, now he knows. <laughs> I didn't say a word to anyone. I know. I know you didn't. No more calls. Can you ask Andrew not to patch any calls here for a while? Huh, trust me. I will. Thanks. I haven't had time to check all of 509 yet, so I better get back to it. The call oh, is coming from inside go, the building. I have some more info for you. I was going over the details of our little mystery when I remembered something about this morning. What is it? I saw Mrs. Cruz rush out of the hotel all by her lonesome. Not too long after Mr. Morgan knocked over that vase in the lobby. See? What was the time really? exactly? Do you know what time it was exactly? I think Mr. Morgan left around 10, so I'm guessing between then and 5 past 10? Hmm. What? I just... I remember hearing a loud noise on the fifth floor right around that time. Like, a, a door slamming really Or hard. a gunshot? Do you think it was her? Maybe. Anything suspicious? Did you notice anything weird about her? You mean, other than the fact that she was walking straight into a snowstorm? Yeah. <laughs> well, I've only ever seen her with her husband. It seemed unusual that she'd be leaving alone. But now that I think about it, maybe she was sneaking out. Or following Mr. Morgan. Yeah. I see. Hopefully I can make sense of all of this. I'm sure you will. Call me as soon as you find something. Okay. Thanks for the info. Okay, okay. This is cool. <laughs> so much, like, so much to keep track of. This game really tickles your brain. Okay. Uh, gonna clean the pedals. Nope, we're not gonna even do that. We check. Mr. Hector Cruz. Insurance agent. No! He's doomed. Kill him. I'm just kidding. He's the devil. This, is she gonna say anything about this other stuff? This is horrible. I don't think I'll ever understand what pushes people to go so far as killing. Said every killer in a interrogation ever. Ah, my new home, according to Susanna Nubet. Wouldn't be surprised if everyone's a little bit more on edge today. Bad weather has a way of doing that. This <laughs> is foreshadowing. 
Uh, did I not? Oh, should I? Oh, this was open, right? I'm pr was this open? I'll close it. Uh, I think it was actually closed. We don't want to leave trace of the snooping. Uh, the bed, you can see only one side of the bed has been slept in. So, they are having some, some issues. Mrs. Cruz got her personal information stolen. Is Mr. Morgan behind it? Let's see. Um, dear Mrs. Cruz, we wish to apologize on behalf of our company for the privacy breach that occurred on the 25th of September, and thank you for calling it to our attention. We are currently investigating the breach and trying to understand how this individual was able to obtain your personal information. Rest assured that we will put measures in place to make sure that the situation does not re repeat itself. Your privacy, privacy is and will always be one of our top priorities. Sincerely, all Harold Bernie. SOS 5? What, why does it say SOS right there? Who could blame you for seeking help? I do the same in your shoes. Who could blame you for seeking help? I do the same in your shoes. What? Uh, we're gonna unlock that in a second, but we should first clean this up. Are we not gonna clean the floor? That is nasty! Okay, uh, clean. Or open, I guess. I'm gonna check all of this. I need to know everything. Did, who actually uses these, by the way? What kind of fucking psychopath actually moves into a hotel room and like unpacks their bag and puts it all in this? These are just for show. Literally, I've never ever used fucking the drawers in a hotel. That shit's just there to like make you feel like you're at home. <laughs> My mom? What the fuck? <laughs> You do? You guys, that's so annoying. You have to like move it all back in your. What the fuck? Put it all back in your suitcase later? Just leave it in your suitcase. So you don't have to pick that up. There's another one. Oh, I have enough. Oh, oh, it's a safe code or something. Some kind of code. Oh, baby. <laughs> That's no. Okay, it's fine. I can do this. Boom, boom. Corner. Uh, like that. Like that. Right? That looks kind of okay. Or there, maybe. Okay, let's just do corners first, because we know corners are easy. Sides are easy. Uh, this is top side. Okay, there we go. This is so cool. <laughs> nice. And then, let's see. Any... There's like a very specific... This one has like a curve in it that's got to go there. I'm only looking at the shapes of the pages, by the way. Uh, this this one's got to go like there. Yes, look at that. What the fuck is this even? That one goes there. That one goes there. And boom! It's... Some kind of code. Could I break it? What the fuck? <laughs> hmm. Clap, clap. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. What? You solved the torn note puzzle. I should keep an eye out for those symbols. I should. I've definitely seen those symbols on some of the things in this room. Maybe oh, I should take another look around. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Okay. Do we... Someone's been sleeping here. I should leave it as it is. Wait, we can throw away the prayer stuff? Why would I do that? I'm not a monster. Okay. Oh, he's praying because he like... Ah, I see. Man, everything is so detailed in this game. Because it's like... Uh, he's like, oh no, I messed up my marriage or something. I don't know what. What went wrong? But Make the bed. Probably clean this. No. Uh, pills provide birth control. Development of a contraceptive pill believed to be... The ultimate form of birth control was reported yesterday to a group of journalists. There's NT on this. Oh, the the, the N is a G and the P is a is a, is a plus. Uh, is that what's going on here? So the N is G, and T is P. <laughs> That's what the, the pill was tested among. Blah 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 blah. Do I zoom in on this? More of these symbols. Yes. Just what I was looking for. And then here as well. So this is B, this is C, okay. 
So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to write all this down. Write this down. Write this down. Uh, what am I doing? This is this a freaking spy? Oh, no. This is <laughs> make up stuff. reading this right? The account's been emptied. Uh, what? Withdrawals? 5,000 withdrawn? You don't see someone withdraw $5,000 every day. Just what could have made you empty out your entire bank account? Okay, we got lots of stuff here. Are we writing this down, guys? Because I I would have to write it down. I mean, I can, but I'm assuming you guys can. So T, so the little wavy thing that I forgot what you call that, tilde, uh, is T. The W is X. Til, so till this T, that's all the T's here. And then we have six is U. And is this forward slash? Forward slash, I think. Or backward slash, I don't know. I don't know. I think this is backward slash. Forward slash is when it falls over. Um, is the N. Okay. Got it. Click on it. Maybe. Maybe I got to click on it and then it'll write it down for me. I don't know. Uh -huh. I'll have to remember these. I'll have to remember these. So we got to remember. Maybe it was a plus. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's close that back up so no one freaking knows. Let's see. This was already open. So there were more symbols here as well, right? <clears throat> Uh, SOS, S is equals, and O is five, okay, and W is eight. All right, maybe I, 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 I don't know if you guys are actually, like, writing this down, because we're going to have to obviously know this. It looks like the code is made up of Let's see. four letters. Four letters? Let's see these now as well. There's nothing here. Um, is there anything here? No. Someone is writing it down. I appreciate you. I'm just checking if there's any more. Did she write anything on this? She did not write on this. We might have enough to know now. More symbols. No more symbols. Nothing else in the toilet. Oh, wait. This thing? Oh, no, but this is what he wrote. Oh, that's what he wrote. <laughs> He's trying to, like, make a letter. Okay. Let's see the let's see the note again. And see if we can have enough to decipher it. Okay. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, she wrote it down for us. Okay. Wait. Wait, but you didn't write everything down. Okay, that's because... Wait, I have to actually... Oh, interesting. Okay, wait, we need to recheck them. I didn't click on them. Some of them are in room... F in the other room? Let's see. Nothing here. It's always on, like, uh, normal text. Check the board. Oh, yeah, they are here. What the hell? Yes. These oh. are part of the same set. Okay, these I are the weird symbols that we thought was a save code. But why would we... Wait, so this guy made the code? Yes, these are part okay. of the same set. Okay, I... interesting. I I are they cheating on each yes. other? What's going on these here? So, or maybe they're the same person? Very interesting. Okay, we need to look around this guy's room as well then again. So he is... There's a seven right there. Uh-huh. one of the symbols. Anything else? There's More a four the at the eye. Just what I was looking for. Nothing else. I don't know if we need to click on each one of them individually. Uh, oh, he stole the ticket. Oh, yeah, because he was talking about the symbols. Yeah, okay. So, no, it is her making the code, but he said he was literally talking about the strange symbols. So, uh, I, it's just so much to take in that I was... Um, I didn't get the full picture there. Okay, so he, she is trying to leave some kind of message behind for someone. Uh, very cool. Okay, let's see. Is there some... So it has to be their stuff. Which... Is there any more... I don't think we have enough. Let's, let's see. Did we check all of these? So we got this thing, right? We got those notes there. Uh, this one. We have all of them. I don't know if we're going to have enough, but we... Maybe... This one doesn't have any... These tickets... Something about the lake. Uh, I don't think... I don't think that... The lake... Because he doesn't know the symbols. He just sees the symbols. I'm assuming that's it. Let's quickly see how many we got now. This is enough. Dude, it's still snowing like crazy. How many do we got? We probably don't have all of them. We got a lot, though. Can we just start filling stuff in? Uh, I... Can I type here? I can. I... Okay. This is cool. Okay, let's just fill in what we got. And see if we can... Eight? Do we have eight? We have... That's W. Or... Yeah, W. And we have... Uh, this weird symbol, which is L. Will. I will. Okay, here we go. Do we have a three? 
We don't have three, but we can always we can do A here. Uh, G is V. I will leave. I will leave. Uh huh. <laughs> don't. I'm. I'm doing this. I'm not looking at chat. This is way too fun. Uh, I will leave notes in the vent next to your room. <laughs> next to your room. Ooh. <laughs> Dude, this is sick. This is like a very good detective game, man. Clarington Hotel reception desk, Beth speaking. Hey, Beth, it's me. Hey, so how did the snooping go? Find anything? I did. I found a message written in strange symbols, a kind of secret code. A secret code? Well, spill the beans. What did it say? I will leave notes in the vent next to your room. In the vent? Sus among us? <laughs> I'm just but whoever the message was intended for went through a lot of trouble to hide it. It was torn in a dozen pieces <laughs> and scattered in that. three different trash cans. Mm. So the cruises are keeping secrets from each other. Do you think one of them's having an affair? Yes. <laughs> yes, it could be an affair. Wait, no, I think it's blackmail? Maybe she. Maybe, I think it's black. I don't think he. I, the guy seems okay. If he was writing love letters on the. Oh, because her info got stolen. Let's just. It could be both. Let's I just. I don't know. It really looks like blackmail. Blackmail. What makes you say that? Uh, emptied bank accounts. I found a bank statement belonging to Mrs. Cruz. Her account was maybe emptied both. very recently. Ooh, that's interesting. But. It could mean a lot of things. What do you mean? Well, people need their money, especially when they're traveling. Not five thousand dollars, though. Admit, withdrawing all of it does seem a bit strange. A fair that let the blackmail maybe. Back your theory? We have security breach. I also found a letter from some sort of company, Fernie and Weissman. It mentions a security breach. Targeting the cruises? Just the wife. It seems some of her private information was stolen by someone. A large withdrawal and a security breach? That can't be a coincidence. Maybe they got something on Mrs. Cruz. Something so bad she had to empty her bank account just to shut them up. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I see it, yeah. It could be blackmail for sure. Do you think Mr. Morgan's the blackmailer? Uh, or Morgan was hired to find a blackmailer? He could be our mysterious caller. What if he blackmails me too? I'm going to do that, maybe? What if the Cruises hired him to find the blackmailer's identity? Well, if that's the case, he's pretty lousy at it. I mean, I think he seems like pictures a of them. Stalking them. I'd call that following the wrong target. Maybe yeah. he hopes to catch the blackmailer the next time he gets in touch with them. Huh, maybe. I'll go have a look at the vent that's mentioned in the message. Just to be sure we're on the right track. Okay. Yeah. Good idea, Bean. Good idea, Bean. I'm about to go on break, so if you need my help again, just ask Andrew. We're to getting a uh, pet name. From. All right, enjoy your break. Oh, I will. <laughs> That's voice actor so good. Romance time. Okay, I'm so curious what's in the vent. You solved the secret code puzzle in 509. Let's go. Uh, you will read vents in the vents next to your room, like this vent right here. Just all of them? Oh, there is a note in there. We have more <gasps> cryptography to do. Let's go. Did I? Can I pick up? Can't open these without a screwdriver. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna wait. Can I get rid of the note on the table? Can I pick up the note? I don't know how like specific. Throw away! Dude, that's sick. You actually have to be very mindful of everything in this game. Okay. We throw that away so we don't leave any traces. We clean up the rest of the room. Everything looks nice. We we should can we put this back? Under the suitcase? No, we can't. Alright. Well oh, wait, there's a vent here as well. Why is the vent I just close that. Okay. I mean we we were here, right? That we're not trying to hide that we were here because we fucking cleaned your room. <laughs> 
Uh, pillow? Yeah, the pillowcase is missing because he's sleeping on the couch because the wife is angry with him. Okay, we need to find a screwdriver, which is going to be in the janitor's closet, right? Yes. Uh, more... What now? Oh, boy. More puzzles. Boom. Is this Linda again being a bitch? Wait, what? I think I did that wrong. This one goes there. This one... I don't know where it goes. Boom. 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 There we go. What does it say? Eugene! Highest priority, huh? That means Eugene's probably working in Bernard's office right now. Bernard tells me there's a cold draft coming from this window, and it's turning his office into a freezer. Fixing this should be your highest priority today, Linda. Okay. Uh, we... Eugene must be down in Bernard's office. I should go ask him for a screwdriver. I will probably... Oh, Eugene. I had no idea. Dear Eugene, a friend of mine has heard from our hairdresser who has heard from her sister-in-law who works as a secretary to the mayor that the city plans on building a new mental hospital right next to Clarington. Imagine, Denise could get the care she needs while staying close to home. It's almost too good to be true. I don't dare get my hopes up, but still, I'll keep my ear to the ground and keep you posted as soon as I have more news. Warm wishes. We're not going to throw this away. This is not our stuff. Shop owner against new mental hospital? A group of downtown Montreal businessmen and shop owners met with the mayor uh, last week to air their grievances concerning their city's recent decision to allow construction of a new mental hospital on our Dorchester Boulevard. William Weston, manager of Weston's department store, says, Wait, isn't that the store that our hotel has a like a, a, an agreement with or something? Says he and his group will fight tooth and nail to prevent the hospital's construction. Will our customers feel safe to come downtown for their shopping needs? Knowing there are lunatics next door, he said. The hospital will be the first of its kind in Montreal. And as patients will be free... Wait. As patients will be free to come and go as they please. Mr. Davis Blunt, the young psychiatrist behind the initiative, believes that allowing patients to maintain a connection with the outside world will facilitate their full return to society once their treatment is over. Um, uh, that's very progressive. Let's go. Having, uh, people become a part of society again. Instead of Sounds casting like them Eugene away. Sounds like Bernard to stop opposing <clears throat> the construction of the new psychiatric hospital. And Bernard was Bernard. Uh, I was unaware of your local, or of your daughter's condition. I can only imagine how difficult this must be for you and your wife. But do not worry. You only have to look at my brother to see how rotten apples grow, even in the best of families. As for your request, I am afraid I am unable to grant, grant it. Mr. Weston is both a good friend of mine and a benefactor of the Clarington, so it would be inappropriate for me to oppose him. Also, considering his great influence in the city, I have no doubt he will manage to prevent the hospital's construction, no matter what. Thank you for your understanding. Okay. Uh, let me guess. Nothing is in here. Every no screwdriver. You can just use this What's thing. What's like a little challenge? Probably. You could flatten the top with a hammer and then use it as a screwdriver. Be creative with it. Um. Huh. Oh, this must be Eugene with his daughter. Oh. He looks like a caring father. Fuck Bernard. Mostly fuck Weston or whatever. <sighs> Wendy I've never Pusha. seen two people more suited for each other. I hope they work things out. They need to. Eugene's a pro at fixing the fuse box whenever there's a power outage. Well, it's not a gin, guys. Um, power box, power fuse box mentioned. Let's go. Okay, we're going down to Bernard, Back right? Down to the lobby, Sophie. Let's find Eugene and get that screwdriver. Yeah, we're a bean. We cleaned all the rooms, right? There's no other rooms that we can enter. Just making sure that I'm not fucking up my job here. Maybe this room? Aha! I forgot about this room. Unless, oh no, this was the room we started in, right? Yeah, this was the Lone Shark. Okay, never mind. This is literally where we began. We've only cleaned like three rooms in the whole day. <laughs> We're so bad at our job. I got shit to do, okay? I got a murder to solve or whatever is going on here. The trash? I could have cleaned the trash there. Whoopsie. What the? Hello. And no tips. No dang tips, dude. Dude, he's got a fucking huge neck and a <clears throat> tiny head. <laughs> it's, uh, Miss Bellevent, isn't it? What? Oh, um, Roy. Oh, right. Dude, why is his neck so big? 
You're the one who took last week off, aren't you? You had to, uh, take care of your sister, I think? Mother. My mother. She's, um, she's very sick. Hmm. No, I hope this doesn't become a recurring thing. Oh my god. I, need to know I can count on you. <laughs> Every I'm employer ever. What are you doing here, anyway? Are you on break? Uh, no. Yes, I am. It's, uh, wait, what? No, I need a screwdriver. Then he's gonna fucking ask about screwdriver. This icon indicates a lie. Lies may get you out of a tough spot, but be careful not to get caught in a lie. Oh no, so we have to keep our story straight. Fuck him. I'm gonna save her on break. Yes. I am. Hmm. Don't take too long. No, no, no. I won't. <clears throat> Dude, this fucking guy. <laughs> knock, knock. Beth. Well, don't you look mischievous. Oh. Hey, Bean. If you're planning to give Bernard a good scare, sign me up. No, I'm looking for a screwdriver. For the vent. Linda asked Eugene to fix Bernard's window. Oh, I see. <laughs> Eugene? Yeah, I, know. I wonder if that's like only if you chose the romance what option. The uh, did he jump out the window? You'd better go and take a look. Uh -oh. I'll stand guard by the elevator and make some noise if I see Bernard coming. Okay, thanks. I'll be quick. Do the teamwork. Let's go. Baby. Alrighty, it's more snooping time. I can't open any of this. Uh, Snoopy, Snoopy. Kind of wish I worked here when Raymond was in charge. Sounds like the hotel was very different back then. Clarence Hotel changes hands. Raymond Leduc uh, retired yesterday after more than 20 years at the helm of the Clarence Hotel, located in downtown Montreal. Founded by Leduc's father, Fer Fernand, in 1921, the hotel was one of Montreal's most respected establishments until the Great Depression and Fernand Leduc's death in 1929. Ever since, guests have noticed a drop in the hotel standards. Leduc, isn't that how you, is that not how you say it? Le, Le Duc, probably? It's Leduc, okay? My wife and I used to stay at Clarington's every year for our anniversary, said Mr. Grayson, who first visited the hotel in 1925. We've stopped coming f two or three years ago because of all the unsavory characters hanging around. My wife was quite afraid. Despite Raymond Leduc's retirement, the establishment will remain in Leduc family, as his brother Bernard is now taking over the reins after many years as the hotel's concierge. Interviewing in, interviewed in the lobby, Mr. Leduc promised great changes would come from Clarington. Hey, it's a way better name. Oh, clean it. He's freaking Donald Duck, dude. Watch this. Posing something that could help so many people just because it's close to your hotel? This is ridiculous. Dear Mr. Weston, I would like to thank you again for agreeing to this partnership between the Clarington Hotel and Weston's department store. Thanks for the two Thanks to your generous help, renovations are well underway and the hotel has never looked better. You should come visit soon when your busy schedule allows it, of course. On another note, it has come to my attention that you have formed a group of local businesses to oppose the construction of the new mental hospital. After working so hard to alleviate, elevate the Clarington standard, I cannot allow a band of cuckoos to move in my backyard. Should you accept it, it will be an honor and a privilege to join your fight. Yours sincerely, Bernard Leduc. Rand written by Eugene. Enjoy the cold, you cold-hearted brick! Wait, he just didn't fix the window because he said fuck so, you? So, <laughs> I take it the open window was ah. not an accident. The Can't NIMBYs, dude. You, the damn NIMBYs. Aha. Let's get you to that vent. Don't point it at my eyeball. Can I pick it up? Pick up. Winky. Okay, uh, do we we can close the window? Can't see. With this blizzard, Bernard's office will be a skating rink by the end of the day. I don't give a shit. Thought, maybe some fresh air is exactly what Bernard needs right now. He needs someone to fix his window and you can just close it, you fucking incompetent son of a bitch. Just let him die if he can't fucking close his window. Fucking dumbass. Well, how can he run a hotel if he can't close a fucking window? What an idiot. <laughs> yeah, come here, uh, Mr. Janitor. You need to close my window. 
Uh, anyway, I'm snooping. Bernard is a dickhead. Uh, ask Eugene to fix blah, 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 blah. Decide winner for employee of the month reward. Call Weston's office again. Okay. I'm gonna close. I'm gonna leave no trace of no of any snooping. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Ew. Is this Linda's? <laughs> There's lots of why sitting in your fucking desk, dude. <laughs> what a guy. Okay. Dear this does not look like a nice brotherly check-in. I had no idea things were this bad between Bernard and Raymond. Uh, dear brother, I thank you for your invaluable input, but need I remind you the terms of our agreement? I did my part, I got you out of jail, and have ensured that news of your deviate ways would not leak. Now I expect you to keep your side of, bar of the bargain and stay out of my way. You are not in charge of the hotel anymore. I have worked relentlessly these past few years to return to Clarence to its former glory. A great challenge, consider- uh, is, is it fucking- is freaking uh, homophobia again? Are you fucking kidding me? Is that what they were saying with the in the newspaper? The poor said you left it. I'm glad Father never got to see how you so shamelessly destroyed his great legacy. As for me, I will be dead too before I listen to a single word from of advice from you. You ask, I lower our prices, but I can tell you I plan on doing just the opposite. My guests will only be la creme de la creme. Your deviant friends can find themselves another place for the. Okay, you piece of shit. Uh, can I clean this up? I should probably clean this up. So that he doesn't get... Because he's going to read it, right? He's going to... Bernard is going to read it. And then... Like, uh, fire the guy. I don't want him to be fired. I'm going to get rid of the evidence. Okay, I think that's it. Um, He wrote this, right? I could throw this away, but... Wait, let me look at this. First class douchebag. Well, just look at these distinguished gentlemen. <laughs> and a young Bernard. And this guy. <laughs> okay. We're out of here. I think that's everything there is to see. Like how they... Like, they don't overwhelm you with too much to see all at once. Oh, no. No, it's not. I came by here not too long ago, and Andrew was already covering for you. That's because I was in the ladies' room. That's no excuse to... It's my time of the month. I... Uh, <laughs> You're married, aren't you? So, you know how it is. <laughs> I have to go more often, and... Oh, sometimes I stain the furniture and, and don't get me started on Got all the That's enough. the perfect Please cover. <laughs> I Miss Bellavet, what were you doing in my office? I wasn't in the office. I wasn't. Someone left the door ajar. I wasn't I was I was simply closing the door. Someone left it ajar. Really? But that doesn't explain what you're doing on this floor. I was on break! You know very well the cleaning staff isn't supposed to wander around the lobby for no reason. I you wouldn't be lying to me, would you, Miss Bellavit? No, no, I swear, I. It's my fault. I asked her to no, come to the I made. Spilled coffee. Dude, coffee? Beth is freaking angel, oh, man. Slapper. You're not supposed to have beverages at the front desk. Yeah, well, there are so many rules here. I lose track. <sighs> come with me. She does her job too well. She knows she can't be fired. Dude, let's go. Beth is insane. <laughs> MVP. Wait, she's going to the... Don't get... I hope she's not getting fired for Sorry. fucking coffee. <laughs> she's so chill. She knows she's fine. She's fine, right? I hope so. Uh, you messed up while talking to Bernard, forcing your acolyte... Wait, what? Let's take the... Wait, I messed up? What the, I should have admitted that I was looking for a screwdriver? Why? Well, then he was going to say, like, what do you need it for? And then I was like, you had to open a vent with secret messages in it. Like, that's not going to work. All right, feels bad, man. I messed up. Please tell me that... It was just a window, right? Did he close it? Can I open this? <laughs> I, I'm not going to open it. That would be so stupid. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Uh, check on them. Oh, he was closing the window. It's fine. She She's a freaking... She does, like, all the work. Beth will be alright. Like, Andrew would have been fired, but Beth will be okay. Will, will he fucking fire her for a coffee on the desk? Like, at that point, you're better off not working here. If that if that gets you fucking fired in this place, drinking a cup of coffee? Might ruin the romance? No, it's it's fine. We'll be fine. Don't don't worry about it. Oh my god. Uh, how many vents are there? Just one vent? Just one big vent? 
I want to see. All right. Let's open the vent. Let's do it. What kind of... This is very oh, interesting. I guess I'm free to disturb room 508 now. But that's where Bernard and Linda were... Ew. Ew. I'm going to read this first before we... And they made this whole freaking scenery around here. That's super cool. All right, unscrew. Boom. But I actually have to rotate? What? <laughs> I have to scroll the scroll wheel. Wait, can I... There. Whee. Come on. Come on. Oh, I can rotate it, I see. Snow is so good. Oh, we have more secrets. Let's go. Oh, we sit back in the room. They never come back. They're just like out and about in the blizzard. Here we go. Uh, do we have new ones? Okay, we have dash is M. M, we have three. That's E. Meet me. Uh, five. Tonight. Ton... Mm, fuck. Tonight. In my... My room. Uh... We don't have this one. Um... What is this one? Michael? Michael will be, I'm assuming, be sleeping. Need to discuss our plan. Room. Michael will be sleeping. <laughs> we need to discuss our plan. Ooh, let's go. It back is fired. I'm the gone. <laughs> It'll be fine. Clarington Hotel reception desk. Beth speaking. It's me. Oh, hello, Bean. Anything new to report? Uh, did you get in trouble earlier? Yeah, but I also wanted to thank you for saving my skin earlier. Oh, you're welcome. I hope I didn't get you into too much trouble. Well, I did get a little sermon from Bernard. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, don't fuss about it. He mainly complained about my lack of decency and my abrasive personality. So, the usual stuff, you know? He did keep me in there forever, though. <laughs> So, tell me it was worth it. Tell me you found something good in that vent. Yes, I found a secret message. I found another message written in secret code. What does it say? Meet me tonight in my room. Michael will be sleeping. We need to discuss our plan. Michael? Who's that? Another husband? I don't know. Another husband? It's the first time I'm hearing of a Michael in this story. Hmm. Let me check the log. There's a Michael staying in room 507. Uh -huh. This is Wilma's room? But she doesn't have a husband. She's here alone with... Oh, Michael must be her son. I got him some extra blankets the other day so he could build <laughs> a fort. Wait, what? Could Marcella... Yes? Uh, no, never mind. <laughs> so, what's next? I what? guess I should go have a look at 507, but it's not on my list. There's a do not disturb sign on the door. Blanket well, for, I for could the call the room to make sure no one's there. Good idea. Hang oh, on. we're gonna sneak in the do not disturb room. We're gonna get in trouble. What's she gonna say if they would pick up? Like, just make a bullshit story? No one's there. You've got the all clear, Bean. Head on over. Let's go. Thanks, Beth. I'll call you back. Alrighty. You open the vent and the code of the second secret message. Looks like I'm headed to room 507. Are we? I want to go to 508 as well. I want to check out 5... I want to do this one first. I feel like we should probably do the other one first. Because um, that one is... Clean up the note. Clean up the note. Sorry. 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 I want to do... 508. It said that it was clear to go there now. Throw away. Yes. Don't be spotted. Did I close up the vent again? I need to check if I did that. Let me make sure. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Okay. I'm gonna go check this room really quickly to see if there's any 
Oh, we need to clean this. We gotta make sure we're doing our job correctly, otherwise we're gonna get fired. And this one doesn't seem to have much of a mess. Just a little bit of shit all over the floor. Um, anything in there? Gotta make sure you, you didn't give all this stuff. These are very comfy rooms, by the way. Like, this is a, such a nice hotel. Uh, clean toilet. What was that? It's freaking little pamphlets. Throw them away! There was a lot of flowers in there. Um, nothing else here? I can't... This... The Deluxe Suite? I mean, they all kind of look like this. Uh, I'm assuming... They didn't leave anything there. I'm gonna quickly check these. Anything in here? Nope. See, the, I mean, I guess they grabbed all their stuff. Alright, well... Yeah, these people are freaking cheating. It's... <laughs> like... I love how they, at the same time, they're like, say no to divorce, and then they're all fucking cheating, <laughs> like... <laughs> like, you piece, you, you guys, you guys gotta get your, your priorities straight. Okay, this room is very, this isn't saying do not disturb. I cleaned the whole room, right? This is all fine. Looks, looks mighty nice. They got even a fireplace here. I don't, I'm assuming you can't use that one. I've never seen a hotel with a fireplace. That's fancy. Okay, we're going to this room where we're not supposed to be. But table, the bottle, isn't the bottle supposed to be there? Isn't that fancy? Wait, I need to clean that? I thought this was supposed to be fancy. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, throw, inspect. Still, there's still stuff in there, but sure. I'll throw it away. Make sure it's all clean. Pick up. Are going back to my cart. Nice. Okay, there. Now it's properly clean. Maybe... Yeah, we can't put that anywhere. Close the toilet door. Here we go. We've done everything. The cheating is so rampant. I don't... I feel like that... Uh, put the stuff back here. Can I put the cups here? Place towel. I'm sure I'll find more laundry to add to the pile. Uh, I just have the cups on me? Am I not gonna put the cups back on the thing? Place cup. There we go. Boom. Another day, another dirty dish to pick up. Okay, let's check out. We need to go to 507. Here we go. <clears throat> Keep this a weapon. Screwdriver. We got the screwdriver, right? Let's go. It's sneaky time. Uh, what's... Oh, it's the fort! <laughs> okay. There's gonna be so many things to look at here. Mr. Cruz, huh? I love that you can throw everything Those away. States, times. What does it all mean? All America. Okay, I see. There's a uh, one that has a circle around it. It's in bold. Interesting. There is. I'm not gonna. I'm not supposed to be here, so no cleaning today. Uh, the winds and the leaves that day. That day made a sound that sounded like a sound that sounded like really and the winds and the leaves that day made the three whistle a soft melody that came to my ear. I remember every part of this day for it was the day we met. Jesus, this is bad. I was looking for my cat when I heard the sound of the leaves blowing in the wind like a melody to my ear on this summer day where I met you. Okay, well, they're not very good at writing. Um, is this for me? Is for me? Oh, that's so sweet. I didn't do much, but I'm glad it meant something to you. It's fucking French. Wait, I, it translates? Thank you so much uh, for taking care of our room every day and bringing us extra sheets. Michael and I wanted to give you a little something before we left. I'm gonna leave this here, though, because I can't pick it up now, because then they know I came into the room when I wasn't supposed to, right? It says do not disturb. I can't clean. I'm not allowed to clean, because then they're going to complain about me. I'll, I'll clean afterwards, right? I can't do cleaning right now. He's all but outright threatening you. Oh, I hope you can stay as far away from him as possible. Uh, I just met with your damn lawyer. You've got some balls to accuse me of that. That, as if you were so irreproachable yourself. Do you think I don't know where you spend your nights? But worst of all is that you won't let me see my son... You won't even tell me where he is. If you think you have a chance to get custody, you really don't know me. I won't let you take Michael away from me. Oh. Looks like someone grew tired of looking at your face, Mr. Bowman. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna clean the toilet. Sorry. 
They're gonna know, they're gonna be like, oh, the toilet is randomly clean. That's fucking... What the hell? Must have been the maid. Oh, the pops. Yummy. <laughs> the detail on this, man. If you move it, it makes the... It makes the sound of shaking a cornflakes box. Okay, I'm gonna turn that immediately back off. Uh, there's just a whole bunch of stuff. Did they really put pictures? Or is this pictures of the hotel? What? You almost look like Marcella. Did, I guess they're staying here for a long time. Is that what's going on? Like they literally made this place like home. So they said there was a long-term stay here, right? And just get away with it. And people like Linda still think divorce is wrong. Oh. Preach! Preach! Uh, dear Anne, I have met Louis, and he asked me to give you the enclosed letter. I think I should reiterate that some of your accusations, such as wife abuse, are not grounds for divorce in Quebec. I understand you are hurt, but I do not think antagonizing your husband is very wise at the moment. Do not forget to be in court at 11 a.m. on the 20th. Be on time. Also, a friendly reminder that my fees for January need to be paid before the end of this month. I am happy to help you out, but I cannot work pro bono on this. What the fuck? The 50s, dude. 50 strike again. Um, Adam or Eve. A heartbreaking decision. Should Rose stay in marriage that no longer makes her happy or seek refuge in the arms of the woman who truly understands her? She has tasted the forbidden fruit years ago, and now she is all sh now she is all she can think of. But will her family and society as a whole think of her if she turns to a life of sin? Should she be condemned for even entertaining the thought of leaving her husband or pitied for having to make such a heartbreaking decision? Damn, that would have been a scandalous novel at the time. Um, that, that is uh, locked. The key has to be around here somewhere. I am looking, but I don't. It's not in the box. Doggy? Oh, her, Greta! I got a dog. Oh, they have snakes and ladders! I how some games really stand the test of time. I used to play this with mom all the time. Funny how some games oh, really stand the test of time. I used to play this with mom all the time. To Anne Bercy. Uh, wait, did she have anything to say about this? Uh, to Anne Bercy. Subject, Michael's withdrawal from school. Dear Mrs. Bercy, we have successfully pr processed your request to withdraw your son, Michael Bercy, from his school schedule and system under the agreement. Schedule and system under the agreement that you will continue his education from home. Following this letter, you will receive the list of books and school materials you need to purchase in order to follow the curriculum from home. A social worker will be in touch to help you understand our milestones so that your son can benefit from our programs from the comfort of his home. Thank you for thinking of your son's education. They're just like, this is a this is amazing because not only do we not have to teach, but we can sell them all the books. This is a freaking, this is a big money investment. You know the drill, Sophie, but sweep and snoop. No, don't snoop, don't sweep anything. We're not, we're not supposed to be here. Sounds like this is from your school days, but the name of the sender is smudged. Um, dear Anne, you were right. I missed the snow already. It's so hot now in Texas. It's quite a shock after the cool weather of Montreal. My family has never seen snow before, and I could not find the words to tell them how beautiful it is. They do not understand what they are missing. I wish I could build my brothers a snowman like the old one we built together a few weeks ago. I know it's childish, but I had... I had not had that much fun in years. Christmas was exhausting. Nine days of eating, singing, dancing. It's great fun, but I'm glad it is over so I can rest a little. Of course, celebrations will resume for New Year, but it gives me a few days to relax. How are things going with your family? I know you don't get along well, but I hope you are still able to have a good time. I will leave for Montreal on the 8th. I cannot wait to be back. I miss finding black cat hairs all over my clothes. I miss our late night studying sessions at Harry's. I miss even... I, I even miss Sister Miller's classes, if you can believe it. I will s see you soon. Warm wishes. Okay. But the sender is smudged. Uh, in here. We got a letter. Oh, Michael. Adults can be so confusing. I promise it's not you. It's French. 
I'm sorry, but mom asked me not to tell you the name of our hotel. She allowed me to talk about our room, though. We have two little beds, a radio, and even a television. My mom let me build a fort, and the maid brought us extra blankets. She's really nice, aw. The hotel is nice, too, but I miss home. I wish mom and you could be happy, and I wish everything could go back to the way it was before. But mom says it's impossible. She says she no longer loves you. Do you think she'll ever stop loving me too? Or do you- Aw, Michael, no. <laughs> you bad man. This kid is just living his life. So you were eager to set up a meeting. No, oh, Michael. But didn't want anyone noticing. Hmm. I hope you are well in spite of the circumstances. We've been on the train for two days now. It's a long ride, made even longer by the fact that I cannot wait to see you again. We are scheduled to arrive in Montreal on the eve of Valentine's Day. I booked room 509. It's a mar marital suite. When we arrive, please refrain from talking to me until we can figure out a safe way to see each other. Say hello to Michael for me, M. Wait, Mr. Spomont. What is going on? We have rainbow colors. <laughs> I love that sound. They actually just full on recorded the sound of pencils. Um, car. Dude, I don't know why, but that's like so much attention to detail. Like, it's the little things like that that really sell a universe. Like, having the sound of a shaking, like, little toy car. Um, Alright. Let's see. There, we already inspected that. Um, do not clean. My urge to clean is strong. So what did we... We found a bunch of secrets, but... Hmm, let me... Can we call? Mm, I should wait till I have more to report before calling back. Am I missing... Oh, we already saw this. Um, do we have to... Oh, yeah, we need to find the key to get in that thing. Can we... I mean, I took the D&D... Oh, did we take the sign down? Wait a minute, did we? Wait, is the sign... Oh, wait, it's gone now. Are we just pretending that it's ne that it was not there? Oh, okay, I guess we will clean then. Oh, all right then. Well, here we go. I thought I thought we were in clean. Clean time, let's go. Cleaning. Are we just pretending that it wasn't us who put it back in the room then, I guess? We're just gaslighting them? Sure thing. <laughs> Boat. You can throw this shit away? What a fucking monster. You can be such a monster in this game. <laughs> what the hell, man? This is an empty, like this is, oh no, this is matches. I thought it was empty. Nail clippers. We're not throwing shit away. Clean. Love the sound, love this sound, man. <laughs> nice squeaky. In the toilet. We already read this. Okay, we're, we're leaving everything else as if we didn't snoop around like a snooper. Clean. Anything in the trash? Nothing in the trash. Um, we're just. Why are there so many of these curly? This is like what you used to curl your hair, right? I think. Why are there so many of them? It's too many. Then we can take the. Wait, is this a key? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Keys are Snoop's best friend. Yeah, we take the key. We take the key then. We already read this. A lot of hair. You have lots of hair. I don't, but I understand what you mean. Those few coins in my tip jar were getting pretty lonely. What is this? They'll appreciate the company. This letter has been sent to you and has been around the world three times. The one who breaks the chain will have bad luck. Mrs. Smith received the letter in 1953. He made 33 copies and sent them three days later. It's a freaking chain mail. He won the lottery. Mrs. Jones received it in 1956. He made 33 copies and sent them. Three days later, he discovered an old treasure in his backyard. Mr. William received the letter and burned it. His wife and three kids died in a fire that very night. Mr. Green forgot the letter in a drawer and lost his job. When he found the letter again, he got a better job than before. In no case should this chain be broken. Make 33 copies and send them. You will experience great joy within three days. I think I can open the chest now. <laughs> I'm d everyone is doomed, guys. Yeah, open the chest. What? Do I have to? Do I have to? Uh, I'll need another key. To oh come this. on! Haven't I seen one just like this somewhere? Have I? Haven't I seen one just like this somewhere? 
I don't remember. Where was it? Was it in the safe? Is it in here? Mm. Oh, it's her necklace! Huh, there you are. Uh, With Marcella. God I knows see. Where she is. Okay. That's just... <laughs> Clarington Hotel reception desk. Beth speaking. Hey, Beth. Bean, I've been meaning to speak with you. Oh, about what? Well, a little birdie told me Mr. Morgan and Mr. Cruz had an argument yesterday evening. Really? Who's your little birdie? Jacques. Apparently, it got so heated he had to get involved. And listen to this. It sounds like I was on the right track, because he heard a particular word thrown around quite a lot. Wanna guess what it is? Cheater. <laughs> Kawubunga! <laughs> what the fuck? It's Modius. Thank you for the $5 donation. Um, let's see. <laughs> I don't want to say that. I want to say. Um, Kawabunga? What? Why would Mr. Cruz and Mr. Morgan use the word Kawabunga while arguing? <laughs> I was just kidding. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> well, the okay, she did not like that joke. Affair. affair? Ooh. Hmm. Did Jack hear anything else? From what he told me. It seemed like Mr. Cruz was accusing Mr. Morgan of having an affair with his wife. Wouldn't have expected Mrs. Cruz to fall for a man like Morgan, but I guess the heart wants what the heart wants. Maybe, but that doesn't explain Mrs. Beaumont's involvement with Mrs. Cruz. What do you mean? I found a chest in room 507. I think it can only be opened by turning two keys at once. I found one of them in Mrs. Beaumont's things. Oh, and the other one? Well, I remembered seeing a similar key in one of Mr. Morgan's stocking pictures, so I went back to check. Mrs. Cruz wears it as a pendant. It looks identical to Mrs. Beaumont's key. Wait, so Mrs. Beaumont and Mrs. Cruz own identical keys that are both needed to open a mysterious chest? Yeah, there's definitely something going on here. <laughs> I think they're having the affair. Maybe they're just good friends. The answer probably lies in that chest. Yeah, but the answers probably lie in that chest, and I don't think I'll be able to open it. I've looked around room 509. I would have seen the second key if it was there. Mrs. Cruz must have left with it this morning. Hmm, yeah. We were so close. I can't believe it all ends here. Well, hold on. I may have an idea. Get me a candle and some plaster. Maybe I can do something about that pesky chest. How? I'll tell you later. Just find me those things and I'll meet you in the basement as soon as I manage to leave my post. All right. Thank you for not giving up. Come on, you know I wouldn't let you down. Let's go! <laughs> it's still going. She's not mad at us. Okay. Plaster and candles. Well, half the hotel's under renovation. I should be able to find plaster somewhere around here. Was this open, this door? I think it was. I think we left everything as I shouldn't touch anything. Um, okay, plaster and candles. I have two cups that I should put away as well. Um, we still have the screwdriver. Look at that. Clean. Uh, what is that? Oh, the coins. We got the coins. Did okay. they see a plaster bag near the stairs earlier? Jeez. Thank you for the tips. Near the stairs? As in not the elevator? Plaster. Do we go down? She said something about that, right? With the renovations, oh, there mind. has to be plaster somewhere on this floor. I'm assuming I the should grab some before going down. Stairs on the on the other side, not next to the elevator, so people are less likely to walk, I guess. Yeah, here plaster. Great. This takes care of half of this little scavenger hunt. As for the candles, doesn't Rebecca keep some in her locker downstairs? We're stealing, and then we can also put our coins. I can probably find the rest of what I need in the basement. Kim's pacing is very good, like very smooth. We get, I mean, you get stuck a few times, but barely at all. And should we get our key? Wait, did we do something? Did I even forget something? Ah, uh, well, if we don't get the perfect ending right away. That's all right. Like, we'll, we'll get our ending. That's the thing with these games. I mean, it can be kind of annoying sometimes if you get, like, a bad ending because of, like, slight things. But I don't mind with these games necessarily. Like, same thing with Detroit Become Human. When I got, like, the bad ending in Detroit Become Human, I didn't feel like it was a bad ending at all. It was, like, the ending 
I want it. Like, I chose to get that ending. Yes, it could have worked out better, but, like, um, Jack, I'm looking for Rebecca. That's the thing with these games. You make your, you make your own path, right? We go in here. Where are the other lock? Oh, in here. I guess I should check the locker room first. Uh, why is this open? Someone do something in here? Excuse me. Wait, is this you, Beth? Oh. What on earth led to this picture being taken? Excuse me? Can I select? Is that a live alligator? <laughs> I think I die on the spot. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, she's crazy. That's a sick picture, though. Are you looking to buy land? I know oh, wait, this is farm, her locker. <laughs> wait a minute. I, I, I thought it was my locker for some reason. I realized it's her locker. Hmm. Didn't I find one of these in Anne's room, too? The white cat must be a popular spot. I have to be careful, though, because if we, like, let know that we snooped in her belongings, she might be like, what the fuck, man? Uh, Rebecca, we can open that one, but I'm gonna... What's mine? Sophie. Put the money in there. Boop. All right. We're getting somewhere. Yes. Now, to resist the temptation to spend it on a burger at Harry's. Did you see that message? You put your money in the tip jar so you can go to Paris one day? <laughs> That's sick. Look, you put your money in the tip jar so you can go to Paris one day. Oh, close it. Uh, letters. Rebecca, the VIP guests in room 602. Oh, didn't we already? No, we didn't read this. 602 is getting on my nerves. He keeps ordering food that's not on the menu. You don't usually do special orders. We don't usually do special orders, but Bernard was adamant that we make all of his wishes come true. Do I look like a goddamn genie? That's not even the worst of it, though. Every night, he barges in the kitchen as if he was at home, asking for meat for his precious little terriers, who feeds dogs $4 roast beef. I can't even afford $4 roast beef for myself. Bobby. So you do have a stash of candles. But where is it? The kitchen is out of power again, and I can barely see a thing. Bernard wants us to continue working, but I'm not risking chopping off my fingers for that blowhard. Didn't you start start hoarding, hoarding candles since the last power outage? I remember you saying you never wanted to be caught in the dark basement again. Where's your stash? It's urgent, please. Um, nothing else I can click on. Okay, so we need to find her stash. Uh, mm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Maybe Bobby took some candles from Rebecca already. Uh, I see. Maybe it's Bobby and the Sophie. Wait, what's on here? It's locked. There's cats. Cat pictures on the on the locker. Uh, Susan, Carol, Joe. Off limits. I'm not seeing Bobby. I guess we go to the kitchen. I don't think Bobby's locker. Governess can't open that. Wait, she, she got rid of the letter. Wait, so the, she read it. She saw it. What's this? To be tossed aside by your best friend like that? Oh, Wendy. That's a special brand of heartbreak. What? Rude. Okay, let's see. Um, do we... Can we go to the kitchen from here? We can go to the break room now. It's open. Someone's here. We can put our key back and get our own key. Wait a minute. Wait, what do you want? Are you here to apologize? Apologize? I'm not the one who should be apologizing. <laughs> I can't believe that I fell in love with you. What? Uh, what? I, I want my mother to bring What? There. <laughs> Dude, he's a full on douche nozzle. I thought he was going to say something nice and he says that. <laughs> he's crying. Alright, well, uh, what the fuck, man? Okay, we need to swap out the key so we don't get busted. Uh, where's my key? Let's read these notes as well. Have you heard there's a famous movie director staying in 602? Famous movie director? Yes, I was there when he checked in. I don't know where he, who he is, but he must be pretty important because Bernard was almost licking his boots. He even let the man bring his dogs in the hotel. 
Is he shooting a picture in Montreal? I've heard he's here on a scout, but I'm not sure what it means. Maybe he's making a picture on Boy Scouts. Do you think he'll shoot in the hotel? I hope he does. Imagine. We could meet famous actors like James Dean. Let's hope the director has supernatural powers because Dean is very much dead. What? James, James Dean is dead? <laughs> Rip. Rest in peace. Uh, let's see. Where did I drop my key? Did someone steal my key or did the game forget about it? Does your personal hygiene worry you? Are those worries bothering your husband? Stop worrying and save your marriage with Liss Oil. Liss Oil, what is this? Oh my god, it's so long. Liss Oil is, what the fuck? Uh, bro, <laughs> it's fucked up. Okay, um, whoever keeps stealing my lunch, I want Tupperwares back. I want my Tupperwares back, Susan. Trying to find my key, but I don't see it anymore. Oh, we were sitting here. There you go. Key. Gotta hold on to these tight. Nice. Okay. Pick up the key and then put back. Le I'm going to continue snooping here, obviously. But I want. I love how everyone leaves all their shit laying around. Like, they, they really have no sense for privacy, huh? And then we put it back over here so we don't get. Wait, where was it? It was in the one of these side rooms, right? Is it in here somewhere? This one? Yeah, it plays Master Key. There we go. Okay. So now no one sees that I stole it because it's back where it belongs. Okay, cool. That is very that's very cool. I like I like that you can do this stuff. I don't know if it's actually gonna matter. Maybe it doesn't, but it feels like it matters. It feels like it should matter. Similar to like making the choice to clean or not clean something. Okay, uh we're raiding. There's so much stuff everywhere. Uh we were looking at this gossip magazine, don't worry, right? Gossiper. I'm coming back to you. I still haven't learned all of Gracie Jones' secrets. Gracie Jones' dirty little secrets exposed. Lipstick that lasts all the way down the red carpet. This is probably Beth's latest project. It's really cool how she has an eye for this kind of thing. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> We're like sitting on the kids' table, the little extra table attached to the existing benches. What the fuck? I always get Vague. Questions, but <laughs> these are fun to look at. To and half the pages haven't been cut out. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, there's, is this all the same newspaper? I'm assuming it is. Yeah. I didn't even realize I was on the back. Okay, uh, now we check this one. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at everything. It's your job to... Others? What? To prank others. It's your job to prank others? <laughs> Banana peel thing on the thing. Uh, Sandra always keep greets clients with a fork. <laughs> Be like Satan. <laughs> All right, what are we doing in here again? Bobby has some oh yeah. Like his candles. Maybe he kept them in his locker. Oh, and Bobby's locker is in the kitchen back here because he's the kitchen guy. Nope. Wait, I guess we just. Oh, this is not the kitchen. I mean, it is. It's the break room. Okay, I think that's everything here. I've snooped a lot, or maybe? No, this is just cards. All right, I've, I have successfully snooped. Now, let's, what is this one? Mary, always make sure to wear her uniform properly. Be like Mary. She's got tentacles. All right, let's look around. Lockers near the, is it one of these lockers here that I, oh, Bobby, no? Anthony, Jack, Bobby, there we go. Aha, he's got stuff. This, wait, what? Oh my candles, god. <laughs> this looks like the laundry room. Okay. So what? Laundry room. Is it? I guess. Okay. Right over there. That must be the location of Rebecca's stash. This is one of the lockers at the end. Let's, is there anything else here? He's just got a but wait, is he stealing the he's stealing the lunch from the other fucking person? <laughs> you piece of garbage. <laughs> What the hell, dude? Okay, there's a stack. Oh, yeah, 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 here. This right here in the thing. Wait, we couldn't go into the laundry room before, could we? It just didn't allow us to go here. Wait a minute. Um, is there any snoopables here? There's a snoopable on the thing. Oh, because this one's broken, right? They said that. That one of them was broken. Uh, Rebecca, the washing machines are not broken. The problem comes from the pipes. They're completely frozen. 
It's only a matter of time before they burst and flood the entire basement. I've warned Bernard about this issue last winter, but of course, he only cares about renovating the parts of the hotel that the guests can see. Behind that nice facade, everything is crumbling. I'll see what I can do, but it's not maintenance we need. It's a freaking miracle. Okay, well, uh, or you need to wait until summer, I guess. Okay, nothing else here. I see letter over there. I know it's in this one, right? It's in there, but I'm gonna quickly read this first. Red lipstick. Movie script. Lose change. Oh. Oh. Is this a, a movie script? Excuse me. Wait, we stole. Change title. Not catch you enough. In a northwesterly direction. Needs more murders. <laughs> Add killer tornado. <laughs> Add killer tornado. What the fuck? Why cut the scene inside the nose? Best part of the script? See if James Stewart is available? Okay, we're gonna check this. There are the candles. Uh, can I? Okay. Stash uncovered. Rob, you won't mind if I just take one, right? Here we go. Are we, we're doing this for Beth, right? Now, what next? Uh, we already got everything, right? You did it? Let's see if Beth is around. Yes, all right. We've done the thing. Look at that uh, ironing machine or whatever. There's a note. You can't hide that from me. Mr. Rebecca. VIP is really getting to Bobby. I confess, I'm about to commit murder. I don't care who he is, how rich he is, how famous he is. The VIP in guest 602 is a goddamn psycho. He ordered room service this morning, but somehow the plates got mixed up and he received eggs instead of pancakes. It happens, right? Well, the man rushed to the kitchen in a frenzy and yelled at us for 10 minutes straight, saying eggs are disgusting and he hates them. I should have told him he's disgusting and I hate him. I thought of spilling his next meal, but before leaving, he swore he'd never order anything from my kitchen ever again. Without the shadow of a doubt, this is the worst establishment I have ever visited, he said in his pompous accent. If he ever sends his clothes downstairs to be cleaned, can you be a good friend and stitch all of his pockets? Any other form of sabotage would do, too. I know you're creative. Just be careful not to arouse too much suspicion. All right. Shadows of doubt! <laughs> there you are. I'm not sure I understand what the plan is here. Well, when I was little, we had padlocks on many of the farm's sheds. My dad would always lose the keys, so one day he made a mold of them using wax and plaster. I was thinking... Clever. Are you sure it's gonna work? Absolutely not. But hey, I guess we won't know until we try. Yeah, you're right. So let's do this. Ah. We're so smart. I mean, Beth is so smart. Okay, to start... Oh my god, we're doing... Pour the wax okay. in the pot. Uh-huh. Wee. Oh, this is very freaking what? Why is it moving? Excuse me? Oh. <laughs> that was not the. I was Have you trying done this to before? do that a little bit. You're a real pro. <laughs> now, time to put the key into the wax. <laughs> that was a little too forceful. Uh, key into the wax. Okay, move cursor. There we go. Let's give it a few seconds so the mold really takes form. Okay, I think you can remove that it. That was very fast. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, we're almost there. Just pour the cup of plaster into the mold. This is gonna work like this? Okay. Whee. Dude, we're insane. All right. Now we wait for it to dry. How long do you think it's gonna take? I don't know. I guess we'll keep poking it every now and then. <laughs> I bet you didn't think you'd be making a plaster key today. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Indeed. But I like it. It's rare that this job allows me to use my creative side. Your creative side? Well, granted, this key won't end up in any museum, but I enjoy the occasional artistic endeavor. Like taming alligators? No, we can't do that, right? Because it really depends on how she responds to it. Do we do that? Because then she knows we snoop, though. We know we should. I don't think we should do that because then we snoop. Do it? I don't know. It, it's just. It, it's up in the air. It's like. Because it, the drawing is public information, right? I feel like we shouldn't let her know that we snooped. Uh, like drawings. Let's do drawings. I'm not. Many people are saying no. 
She encouraged our snooping. She can't be offended. <sighs> I don't... I Don't we tell her everything? Let's do drawing first. I feel like this... I mean... The, the, everyone's saying don't do it. Okay. Like, like drawing. drawing. Oh, God, no. I once drew a dress that everyone mistook for a birthday hat. <laughs> I never drew again after that. What about you? Haven't I seen you drawing in that journal of yours? Yeah. I doodle a little. But didn't she draw? Hey, you should show me one day. I'd love to see your art. We're trying not to sabotage this relationship. Uh, it's... Yes, let's go. I'd love to see your art. Okay, but promise not to laugh. What? I'd, I'd never, ever do that. I know I make fun of pretty much everything, but not people's art. That's their soul. She's nice. I'm sure it's beautiful. Thanks. That's what cool. do you like to draw anyway? It's kind of silly, but I've started working on this little comic in which I imagine my life as a celebrity. A celebrity? Yeah. I've always found the lives of famous people so fascinating, you know? And I kind of envy them sometimes. All the drama, the excitement. Yeah, because we're really lacking in drama and <laughs> excitement today. <laughs> well, today's the exception. I'm sure there's something else in your life that excites you. Well, I do like sailing. Excuse me? You sail? On a boat? <laughs> I used to. With my grandpa. But when he died, we had to sell the boat to pay off his debts. Oh, that's too bad. I would have loved to go with you. Let's go. Maybe we can still find a way. Maybe it'd be possible to borrow a boat for a day. Come on. I think one of Grandpa's friends still has his. Really? That would be great. Let's go. I just <laughs> love trying new things. I'll see what I can do. Yes, we got a date, baby. Hey, I think it's dry. <laughs> I can't believe it worked. It worked. Nice. I we didn't fuck it up. I could not this without you. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> Well, I should get back upstairs before Bernard notices my absence. If he hasn't already. Let me know how it goes with the key. Oh, and uh, be careful while turning it, okay? You wouldn't want it to break inside the lock. Yeah, I'll oh, be careful. Oh, yeah. Thank you for everything. No problem. Yeah, I feel like this is desperate to fail, but... <laughs> what? Okay. You made a key double with your acolyte. Oh, we cleaned everything. Alrighty, we got two of them. Well, uh, one thing left for us to do, which is go try it. Because we snooped everywhere else, right? We snooped everything. Looked in all the lockers. Unless there were new lockers that were suddenly open now. But we already checked the new lockers that were like a jar. And I think those were the only new ones. <laughs> I don't think Andrew... I mean, maybe Andrew did something else or something. I wonder. There's obviously different ways you can go through the game here. Not super significant, but there's probably going to be different endings based on what you did with, like, the cleaning and, like, throwing away. Like, if you threw everything away, I wonder what that would have done. I've got two keys. Now, let's test them out. Yes, we... It's this... Was it? It was this room, right? Five or six? Uh, yes, in the... Wait, no. It was. It was 508. Was it this room? 507. This one. Yes. Okay, let's see. I want to know. What is the ultimate secret? What's in the box? Careful, <laughs> What's in the box? I don't box? want this key to break. Okay. Do this one. Yes. And then... Oh, no. I have to move it slowly? Move it slowly. Ah. Very fucking slowly, dude. I'm going so slow. This one can move. How far does this go? Okay, it just needs to go like that. Okay. Very fucking slowly. Do not rush. <laughs> Fuck. Yes! <laughs> okay, so <laughs> this stress me out, dude. Okay, we're super, we're uber snooping. Unlike my favorite bar, this one was black. Her alliterative name 
will surely take you back. These two sure love their riddles. <laughs> in Atlanta, I noticed yours was pretty worn down, so I decided to buy you a new one. I hope you like it, and since you enjoy them so much, here's a little puzzle to figure out the combination. Two five-letter words are the key, both related to our history. Unlike my favorite bar, this one was black. Oh, okay. Our literate name will surely take you back. From the first one, take the first two. From the last one, take the last two. Okay, there's so many puzzles. Okay, let's see. Um, so, unlike my favorite bar, this one was black. What was the, the rabbit? Something with rabbit? Rabbit? What was the... Or was that... It was like the white rabbit bar with the matches? The white rabbit? Unlike my favorite bar, this one was black. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. But it's not... It's white cat? Oh, it was the white cat. It was a white cat. It was a rabbit. <laughs> uh, okay, but that's definitely what, unlike my favorite bar, this one was black. A black cat. K9? No. What? How will we get one, two, five? five? It needs to be five letters. Bunny? Bunny? Maybe bunny. White bunny? Um, our literative name will surely, unless it's not, doesn't have to be five letters. Uh, let's, let's quickly... Wait, is there anything more I can read? Uh, I hope you get better. Try to rest today. I will bring you hot soup after class. Wholesome. Uh, oh, Marcella invited you to the movie. Oh, white. It's, Let me guess. Wait. You said yes. Oh, okay. The word is white. Okay. Um, I, I, I guess. The postman always rings twice. Is playing at Louis Theater tonight. It's ba based on a novel. I read a while back. I am sure you would love it, seeing as you like crime stories and murder so much. Nothing creepy about that. Uh, okay. I'm just reading all this first. Uh, what is this? I can barely listen to Sisters Miller's lecture today. Oh, that's why they had the secret language. They were talking to each other. Yeah, yeah, we're going to check the collar. And say oh, the, 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 the dog. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can barely listen to Sister Miller's lecture today in secret language. All I do is look at your lips and imagine kissing you. I can't wait for the night. Adorable. Um, did I... I've just heard... Wait. Dear Aunt, I've just heard Doris Day on the radio, and it made me think of you. I know how much you love Sentimental Journey. Counting every mile of railroad track that takes me back. Last time I was in Texas, I felt like, a, like coming home. Now, strangely, I feel away from home. I wish you were here with me. I always feel at home in your arms. I can hardly believe it has been five weeks since we last saw each other. Sometimes I wonder if I might be going crazy. You are always in my head. Every time, everything reminds me of you. Not only a song on the radio, but silly things like the flowers in our garden, that smell of your shampoo, or when people say the word darling, and I can hear you say it with your lovely French accent, darling. <laughs> My family seems to have noticed my odd behavior, but of course I cannot tell them about you, even though I wish I could. I feel like climbing on the roof of the tallest building in Austin and shouting my feelings for you at the top of my lungs. God, I sound like a giddy teenager in love for the very first time. Maybe I am. Sometimes I'm scared that all this time with you was nothing but a dream. A dream too good to be true. I'm afraid that when I return to Montreal, I will realize you never existed. Or if you do exist, you don't remember me. I wish I had a picture of the two of us. Uh, so I would know that for sure that this was real. I long for your embrace and the taste of your sweet lips. I love you. Very cute. Okay. Oh, uh, there's more? Wait, so what was the... Did Can we not read the, the one message again? Uh, they do have a picture. Look at that. We got a picture right here. Uh, December. Dear Anne, I'm sorry it took me so long to answer your last letter. It has been six months already. Wait, since I left Montreal. As you always say... Le tempo si vita. I don't know what that means. Time flies. Something. <laughs> My parents are glad I am done. I hate French pronunciation, dude. I can't do that shit. My parents are glad I am done with my studies. They always thought it was a strange idea for me to go to university. Now they want me to find a husband and have children like any other woman. I think I will. These past few months, I had a lot of time to reflect on our relationship. You know my feelings for you, and I hope you never forget how much I love you. But we cannot hide our heads in the sand any longer. We were lucky our story lasted as long as it did, and foolish to think it would last forever. But love is forbidden, and hiding it from my family is proving more difficult and more, more and more difficult every day. It will always have a special place in my heart, but I believe it is time for us to go our separate ways. No! What? 
You made me feel like a teenager. You made everything but the present disappear. Now I need to be an adult and think about the future. What the hell? Feels bad, man. Okay, lots of stuff. That riddle is a duffy. Maybe I need a fresh pair of eyes on it. Uh, we got this. Okay, we have this. We have Greta, which is also five letters. Uh, wait. Selection mode? A cat named Greta. Uh... G-R. G I C. Okay. Wait, can I get the No what 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 is this? Why is there oh, it's just a just a graphical glitch. I thought that why is there a diamond in the middle not drawn? Um it was this one. Okay. Unlike my so the white cat was the restaurant. Hey Elaine, thank you for the super sub. Uh, my unlike my favorite war on uh bar, this one was black, so that's Greta, the G R, the first two. And then her alliterative name will surely take you back. Her alliterative name. Let's see. Let's look around. Bridget Boswell alliteration. Here we go. Wait, can I zoom in on this? Wait, what, what did it say about that? Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, her alliterative name will surely take you back. Is it just Doris? Oh, Doris Day. Wait, what was that from? Doris Day. There. I just heard Doris Day on the radio. It could be Doris. I mean, I guess. Because this one is too long. The music box? Sorry, I'm like a little lost. There's no shame in asking for help, Sophie. Two heads are better than one, especially when dealing with- Yeah, Beth. let's ask Beth. Let's do teamwork. Teamwork. Teamwork makes a dream work. They were roommates. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll think about it in a sec. I want to hear, hear what Beth is saying. Hotel reception desk. Beth speaking. Hey, Beth. Got a minute? For you, always been. I opened the <laughs> chest in room 507. You did? Damn, I have to admit I didn't really believe in our little plaster key, but way to go. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. I wonder if you could have broken it. It's quite sturdy. So, spill it. What's in the chest? A riddle. A riddle? I and a lot think more. It was written by Mrs. Beaumont for Mrs. Cruz. And I think the answer will give me the combination for a case I found in room 509. Okay. I could use your help with it though. Oh god, I hate riddles. <laughs> Well, let's hear it. Which part is causing you trouble? Uh, her alliterative name. Um, her alliterative name will surely take you back. Alliterative what now? <laughs> Andrew, you're a nerd. What's alliterative? <laughs> hey, just because I read books doesn't mean I know everything. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. It's a series of words that start with the same sound or letters. Thank you, darling. Did you get that, Bean? Yeah. yeah I know I that, though. That doesn't help me. <laughs> That's like the part I already knew. The other part like, that I need to figure out where that leads me to. I'm not sure where to look. I think I know what to do. Let's ask her but more. That could mean a lot of things. Yeah, exactly. That could I'm be Doris sure Day, Bridget like Boswell. Yeah, me neither. Tell her to look for a name and surname that both start with the same letter. They both at the... Huh. Okay, maybe it's both. That? Yes. Okay, Thank well, you. maybe it is Bridget Boswell. Anything else? Or Doris Day. Uh, okay, no, the other one we already figured out. No, that's all. Thank you. Uh, okay, I'm assuming it's Doris, because Doris is five. So then it's it's either gray or it's gris. <laughs> yeah, it's five letters. Doris is five letters. Okay, so it's, it's this. What was it in here? This one. Uh, I just heard Doris Day on the radio, and it made me think of you. So it, I that or it's this one here, which is uh, Bridget Boswell. Uh, so Gris means gray. Maybe it is just Gris. Let's do Gris, and then if it's not that, we'll try gray. So now we need to go back. Do we? We need to cover our tracks here, right? Do we cover? I'm assuming we can do this and then cover our tracks, or do we? Let's cover our tracks first in case this all goes wrong. Um, because we already know all the puzzles. Let's put all the letters back. We can always take them out again. Close the thing. Did we take out our key, though, too? I guess we leave the keys here. <laughs> that seems a bit problematic. <laughs> They're gonna know that someone fucking messed with this shit. Alright, well, whatever. <laughs> I, I, I can't take it out. Unlike my favorite bar, this one was black. Her alliterative oh, name oops, I'm going the wrong way. will surely take you back. These two sure love their riddles. Need to relock it. Let's close this. 
Okay, 509, which was this one right here, yes. Let's see, is no one here? Just making sure. Okay, was there a combination? It's not this. What was this for? There was a, a thing here that we couldn't open, right? This one? Yes. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's try Gris first. Okay, that's not it. So then we try Gray. Okay, that is also not... There's no Y. <laughs> Wait, oh, this is not an R. This is an A. Whoops, I'm stupid. Uh, Gris. Yeah, there we go. That's all right. <laughs> nice. We're, we're genius. Let's go. Uh, wait, what? You solved Anne's riddle and opened the case in room 509. It's a typewriter? That novelist, Bridget Boswell, is actually you, Marcel? What? <laughs> That's sick. The plot twist. <laughs> Dear Marcella, or should I say Br Brig or Bridget or whatever. Uh, you know I prefer a good old crime story, but last week I came up on a, nom a romance novel with an intriguing title, and they were roommates. I brought bought it on an impulse at a train station and read it from cover to cover during the journey. Can you imagine my surprise when I recognized our story? You may have changed the names and location, but all of our moments are there. Our endless discussion in the door room, dorm room, our first date at the theater, our trip to Quebec City... You often said writers are thieves, but I never fully understood until now. It has been almost 10 years since I received your last letter, a letter that painted our relationship as nothing more than a summer fling. At first, I could not believe you had written those words. Then I waited in vain for you to answer and had to accept your love for me had never been real. For many years, I was brokenhearted, angry, confused. I questioned, questioned the nature of our feelings, of our attraction, and made many wrong decisions. But this book, your book, and I foolish to, am I foolish to think it's proof you really love me? In any case, I hope you are well, and I am happy to see you accomplish your dreams of becoming a writer. <laughs> that whatever that is. Um, okay, that is very cute. Then another one. Uh, wait, no, you don't send a message back. Oh, here we go. Turns out you're a fan of Bridget, of Marcella. That's a lot sweeter than I expected. Dear Marcella, although you don't know me. Oh, wait. Oh, did we read them in the wrong order or what? Wait. Uh, did we? Yes, we did. Okay, this one is actually first. Wait, no, this one's later. Oh, this is 56. Wait, excuse me? Um, dear Marcella, although you don't know me, I think I can safely say that I'm your biggest fan. Your novels... Oh, maybe this is just a different person. Your novels have literally changed my life. After the war, I spent almost 10 years in a psychiatric hospital because of panic attacks. None of the treatments were working, and I wasn't getting any better. I became friends with one of the nurses who started lending me books so I could pass the time. I didn't really like the first ones, but then I picked up Bridget Boswell's first novel. Your novel. I had never read such a beautiful love story. It almost brought me brought tears to my eyes. I immediately urged the nurse to get more, me more of your books. Is Mr. Morgan? Um, give me more of your books. Believe it or not, the more I read them, the less panic attacks I had. The doctors thought it was their new medication finally working, but I knew the truth. Your novels gave me the courage to get in contact with Lindsay, a friend from the war. I had always felt love for him, felt for him the same way your characters feel for each other. But I had never dared telling him, now I have, thanks to you. The thought of seeing him again is what motivated me to get better and leave the hospital. I hope to hear back from you soon. Wait, they... <laughs> holy shit, let's go. Okay, wait. So this is okay. So this is uh, the other guy. Uh, the I love the how they incorporated this all in the story. That they they There's unveiled this very here. nicely. I don't think I've looked at everything yet. Wait, you haven't? Should I say Bridget? I already read all of this. Oh wait, oh, maybe I didn't go to the next page on this. Ah, here we go. Much, but you deserve some kind of justice. Excuse me, what did you say? After my discharge, I wanted to thank you for everything you've done. Okay, oh, this is literally just a new, this is a different person, but yeah, I, I get it. Uh, I wanted to thank you for everything you've done for me. I've discovered Brigitte was a pseudonym, so tracking you down took longer than I thought. Fortunately, I'm very patient and resourceful man, and I never give up. Do you think we could meet? I have so much more to tell you. Okay. <laughs> I see. Okay, uh, that's that. I read that. And I read this one, right? There's two messages. Can I read this one? There's a lot of stuff Wait. in here. I don't think I've looked at everything. Oh, yet. I can I can keep going. I'm oh, whoops. Sorry. I'm so stupid. Like 
I, I thought it was Everyone just someone to talk to. two letters, but it, or just one two letters on each side, but it's way, way more than that. Okay, here we go. Um, Dear Marcella, thank you for answering my letter. I realize now how unsettling it must have been for you. Please forgive my tricking your editor into giving me your address. I know I shouldn't have done that. I wanted to thank you as well for your encouraging words regard concerning Lindsay. I still haven't heard from him, and I'm starting to fear I might have the wrong address. I wish I could take a train to Virginia... But that's not an option right now, as I can barely pay rent. I guess I will have to find a job. As a kid, I dreamt of being an actor, a Hollywood star. I know it's a foolish dream, but what else can I do? What am I good at? I've tried getting some odd jobs already, but employers turn me down as soon as they learn that what I've spent the last... what I, Where I've spent the last 10 years of my life. If it continues like this, I'll probably end up on the street like so many of my army buddies. So this is the guy creeping on her, right? This is that dude in... Uh, that's like uh, taking pictures of people and stuff. Um, if it continues like this, I'll probably end up on the street, like so many of my army buddies. Why am I even telling you all of this? After reading your books and getting to know you through them, I tend to forget I'm only a stranger to you, parasocial relationship over here. I hope you don't mind. You seem to be a good listener, and I've been feeling rather lonely since I've left the hospital. Anyway, please tell me more about your life, and do not hesitate to write long letters. I must have read your previous one a thousand times already. Paul. An advance on my salary. So Marcella hired you. Is but what for? Wait, what? Is this gonna tie into the movie director as well? Like, what's gonna, what's go, where's this going? Dear Marcella, I've just received a letter from Lindsay's mother. She tells me he's dead. Where's, wait. From Lindsay's mother. She tells me he's dead? We're just gonna even begin to describe how empty I feel. He died two years ago before I even sent my first letter. You will never know my feelings for him, and I will never know. If he could have loved me back, I guess I should have known this would end in pain, just like your novels. I wish I had Lindsay's ability to find beauty everywhere, even during the war, amidst the death and chaos. He would marvel at the forests of Germany, at the sun, the birds. He loved birds so much. He could identify them just by listening to their song. I have to admit your proposition took me by surprise. I was hesitant to leave home at first. Uh, I was afraid to miss Lindsay's answer. But now, there's nothing keeping me here. I'm desperate for anything that will help me forget the pain. But I don't have enough money to take it to Texas. Do you think you could give me an advance on my salary? In spite of everything, I'm really excited to know I'll finally meet you. Paul. Wait, I'm, am I reading this correctly? Do I need to go back and forth between these? Or... I'm assuming this is a different... This is different. I'm, I'm just gonna read these first, and then we'll go into the other stack here. Um, okay. Oh, this is the end of the stack. Okay. Uh, there we go. So now this one. Uh, I'm assuming there's more here. Yes. Dear Marcella, I didn't expect you to reply. So this was that one. And then, dear Marcella, I didn't expect you to reply to my letter, but I'm happy to see that I was wrong. Your words have comforted me in a time of great distress. If only Louis was half the man you say Hector is. He has quite a temper and hits me frequently. I'm willing to put up with it as long as he doesn't hurt Michael. But there are some days when it becomes almost unbearable. The other day, I dreamt of our first date. We were watching The Postman only rings twice a day. But suddenly we were in the movie. You were Lana Turner, and I was John Garfield, and we were both plotting to kill my husband. I hate to admit it, but I almost hope it was prem premonitory. To answer your question, I do still have our box. My brother is currently in Atlanta for work, and I was thinking of going to see him with Michael next month. If you are able to meet me there, we could open the box together and laugh at the silly things we thought important all those years ago. I hope to, s to hear from you soon. Charles Saint-Simon or something. Do you remember that secret language we invested this so Sister Miller couldn't understand the notes we were passing during her class? In secret language, I still do. <laughs> I do like a happy ending. I just hope that's where your story is headed. Uh oh, is this gonna go bad? Dear Marcella, thank you for sending me a signed version of your latest novel. I think it's your greatest work yet, but I do have a few comments to help make the next one even better. First, I believe Rose should be more concerned with what she deserves and what her husband deserves. He may not deserve the pain... Wait. He may not deserve the pain she will cause by leaving him, but they both deserve to be happy, and they won't be as long as they remain together. As long as she doesn't listen to her own needs. Also, I think I w it would be great if your next novel ended on a more positive note. Imagine if Rose left her husband and rode into the sunset with Eve. Imagine if they went to New York or Los Angeles. Some place where people like us are tolerated. Imagine if they got to have their happy ending. It would be the best story ever. I hope you consider it. Uh, uh, P.S. I know you say invisibility protects us. 
but don't you just wish to be seen sometimes? Wouldn't you like people to know you are Bridget Boswell, to recognize you on the street, to recognize you for your work? Why not publish your next novel under your own name? Dear Marcel- oh. oh, so you came to Montreal under the pretense of celebrating your wedding anniversary, but all along, you meant to reunite with Anne. Uh, dear Marcel, I left the house. I left Louis. I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't lie anymore. How do you do it? How do you manage to live a double life, to hide your work and your novels from your husband? I had so much less to hide, and yet, Michael and I are seeing, staying at the Car Clar Clarington Hotel until we find a place to stay and the divorce is done. I don't know how long it will take. Could you come and see me in Montreal? I really need you by my side right now. Oh, that's what the letter was about, where, like, her being abused wasn't enough to divorce or some bullshit? Um... I wouldn't put it past Louis to scour every hotel guestbook in the region looking for me under his surname. So I've registered under the name Beaumont. Okay, there we go. That's for the story. Uh, we did it. So, let me get this straight. Mrs. Beaumont and Mrs. Cruz are some kind of star-crossed lovers? Seems like it, yeah. But I'm not sure whether they chose to meet here just to reconnect for a few days. Or if there's something more to it. Well, I may be able to help with that. Really? How? Oh, some mail arrived earlier for Mrs. Beaumont. Uh, I wonder what's inside. Open it! You've opened it, right? Me? Disregarding <laughs> someone's privacy? Of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bad influence on you. Or have we been bad influences on each other? I guess we'll never know. <laughs> so, what's in it? It's three train tickets. And, uh, oh, there's a tourism pamphlet for California. With the child? That's, I'm assuming this is the third ticket. Well, it makes sense. It's much more progressive there than it is here. So, Anna and Marcella want to go there to live their love freely. Anna and Marcella, huh? You three are best pals now? Well, after reading so much of their correspondence... I kind of feel like I know them, you know? Parasocial, yeah. the game. <laughs> what about Mr. Morgan, though? I mean, Paul. How does he fit into all of this? Uh, he was a fan of Marcella. And he was hired as well, but... Turns out he's a big fan of Marcella. Is she a celebrity or something? More or less. She writes Pulp Fiction under a pseudonym. I think her books gave Paul she a chance Pulp Fiction? to <laughs> get out of his own head while he was staying in a psychiatric hospital. Huh, I see. He's still kind of a creep, though. Couldn't he have stuck to fan mail? <laughs> Stalking her like that. That's going too far. And why did he have those pictures of you? Yeah, why was that? I guess we'll never know for sure, but I don't think it was ever about me. That was it's weird. It's always been about Anne and Marcella. Exactly. Well, it feels a tad anticlimactic. I mean, why is it anticlimactic? No drama, right? At least it made our day pretty interesting. <laughs> it sure did. You know, after today, I think I get why you're so interested in the lives our guests lead. I try to forget they exist as soon as I'm done interacting with them. But once in a while, it's nice to remember that... Well, even the most put-together person could be an absolute mess on the other side of the door. <laughs> and who are you behind closed doors? <gasps> Let's go. What about you? <laughs> who is Beth Lambert when no one's looking? I like to think that with me, what you see is what you get. But maybe an extra Snoopy super sleuth could uncover a few more layers. <laughs> this is very fitting for the story here. <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> Let's go! Come see me when your shift ends, all right? We could leave together if you want. Sure. If we're able to. With all that snow, I'm thinking maybe we'll have no choice but to spend the night here. Ooh, a sleepover. <laughs> we could set up They're a very cute. on the a pillow fort? We do work in a hotel, you know. There are actual beds here. I know, but isn't my <laughs> way so much more fun? Well, it's very cozy. we could take a page out of Michael's book and decorate it. And then spend the night throwing stuff at Bernard whenever he comes through the lobby. Oh, now you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> and they were roommates. <laughs> 
Let's go, dude. I just have to finish my tasks for the day, and then I can leave. Let's go. Okay. Uh, do we have to clean this? We didn't leave a trace. I'm not gonna clean that one room. I don't know if the game wants me to, but I'm close. Someone is ringing. Closing this. I actually did clean this one, right? Clean this one. Someone is coming up the elevator. Concerning. Wait. What? Um. I, d I didn't. Uh huh? <laughs> Excuse me? Uh oh. Oh no. I thought we were I thought we were going to a good ending. What's happening? Here come the murder. Oh no. What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me? Is that <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> that was so unexpected. I thought I misjudged the game and there was not gonna be a murder, but turns out, yep, there we go. <laughs> That's not Andrew, right? He's fucking dead. I'm glad it's not Beth. I was, I was gonna. This is gonna be the worst ending of all time. Mr. Cruz? Yeah. Wait. Oh. Uh oh. Did they actually- Oh, they actually ended up murdering him! Are you kidding? <laughs> Wait. Mr. Cruz. They actually ended up murdering the husband? Oh, oh, <laughs> what happened? oh. oh no! We just told the story to the cop, remember? Oh no! We, we snitched! Because we're in the witness office right now! I forgot! I was, I was so into the story, I completely forgot! Oh no! Who's his life insurance policy? Oh Why my god! Coverage amount ten thousand. Uh oh. Is this about Paul? Dear Mr. Mean... Oh no, dear Mr. Cruz, thank you for reporting that guest's unacceptable behavior. We will look into it as soon as possible. However, I regret to inform you that we cannot divulge a guest's personal information, regardless of that guest's behavior. As I'm sure you will understand, we are very concerned with our guest's privacy, and our staff prides itself on its discretion. Uh, please contact us, should that guest bother you again. Yours sincerely. Um, okay. Then we can throw this away. We're not gonna tamper with the evidence. Um, right? Why would we? What? This is just laying here? What the hell, dude? <laughs> that is so unexpected. Alright, I'm gonna follow the... Oh, no. Uh oh. Did he freaking crawl to the. What happened? Uh oh. That's a lot of blood. He is in the icebox? What the frick? Uh, there's a letter. Here. Oh, oh, so Paul's work with Marcella was to follow her around like a private investigator to help her with research for her novel. What? Oh, okay. I see. What the fuck? <laughs> Dear Paul. Okay. I mean, I guess. Dear Paul, I am sorry to hear you are in such a dire situation. You seem to possess a lot of useful skill and it's a shame employers cannot see past your medical history. But don't despair. I have been writing novels and novels for almost eight years now. My publisher... Takes most of the sales revenue, but I was still able to collect a substantial sum of money over the years. Now, I would like to use that money to hire you. I'm getting tired of romance novels, and I'm thinking of branching out into crime fiction. As a sort of research, I would like you to follow me around town and take notes of my comings and goings. I am aware this is a very unusual job, but considering you were able to track me down, I believe you would be a great private detective. In addition to your salary, I would cover all work-related exp expenses, and you would, of course, be the first to read the manuscript once it's finished. Interesting. They're, like, method acting, I guess. Wait, there's more pages, isn't there? Um, Paul really got into his role. Hey. I hope spying on me isn't proving too exhausting. You've really inspired me so far, and I already have tons of ideas. The trench coats you bought were a nice touch. You look straight out of a film noir. I also noticed you started smoking. It's probably another way for you to get into character, but maybe that's pushing it a little too far. 
You know best, of course, but don't pick up drinking next. At this rate, I should be able to start writing in two or three weeks. Thanks again for your help. Paul, why- Followed Marcella to Montreal even though she was done with her research. Paul, why did you follow me to Montreal? As I already told you, I do not require your services anymore. I'm starting to worry you are taking your role a bit too seriously. You are not a real detective. You have to let go- Oh, so his mental illness or like something with that, I'm assuming? Because he was in a psychiatric hospital for 10 years. He- He was having trouble letting go. Oh, no. He is the killer? He snapped? Oh, boy. <laughs> Poor Paul. Lindsay's death really hit him oh, hard. Oh, no. He hasn't been in the best headspace. Valentine's Day? Montreal is much bigger than I had expected. Big cities always make me feel lonely, and that feeling was only exacerbated this morning by the fact that everyone around me was speaking a language I could not understand. I bought an English-French dictionary at the train station, but I don't think I'll need it after all. English speakers seem more common in the downtown area. Thank God. The hotel is nice. When I arrived, the whole staff was busy getting ready for some big event. It wasn't until I saw Marcella entering the lobby with a flower bouquet that I realized today is Valentine's Day. Hector and her were all, were gone in a flash, and I was left feeling more alone than ever, wishing Lindsay was here with me. Helping Marcella out these past few weeks has been a great distraction that still hurts me so much every time I think about him. I had hoped the pain would have gone by now. I'll probably need a double dose of Miltone to sleep the night. So Paul just needed to pass the time while Marcella was away. That's why he was observing us. Oh, February 15th. The day I wanted to follow Marcella and Hector out of the hotel, but the sidewalks were so packed with people that I started having a panic attack. I tried a cab, and that's when I realized I was all out of money. It's been a while since Marcella's last payment, and the hotel room was more expensive than I had anticipated. I couldn't resort to selling the camera, so I decided to pawn my victory medal instead. It was hard letting it go after so many years, and yet it also felt strangely liberating. Maybe it's a sign I shouldn't be holding on to the past so much. To fight boredom until Marcella and Hector's return, I started looking at the hotel staff. I heard Andrew and Beth at the reception de desk discussing books and movies. They both seemed like nice people. I wish I had found the courage to join their conversation. When you look at people all day and they never look back, you start feeling invisible. I noticed that Sophie, the maid in charge of cleaning the fifth floor, seems to share my interest for other people's lives. Maybe I should try talking to her. Paul was hiding out. Right here. Did he ever find the person who was sneaking out at night? Who's sneaking out of their room every night? The question has been driving me crazy since my first night at the hotel. So tonight I decided to investigate. I found a hiding spot near the ice machine with a nice view of the whole corridor. My camera's at the ready, but there's been no movement for at least three hours and I'm fighting not to fall asleep. No need for Milltone tonight. I thought being a detective would be more exciting. Maybe Marcella's right. Maybe it's time I let go of Mr. Spade. 9.45? So, Anne and Marcella met here this morning while I was busy cleaning room 504. I woke around 9.30 a.m. and realized I had fallen asleep sometime in the early morning. I was able to go back to my room when the guest from room 507 came to sit on one of my on one of the chairs close by. She's been here there ever since and I don't dare leave my hiding spot in front of her. Marcella joined the guest from 507 around 9.30. 45. Apparently, she told Hector she didn't love him anymore, and she's now convinced she's been... And he's now convinced she's been cheating on him. That explains why he assaulted me out of the blue yesterday, yesterday evening, and accused me of having an affair with his wife. The guest from 507, I've learned her name is Anne, has just said she might have an idea on how to solve their problem. I'm thinking of revealing myself, but I don't want to anger Marcella. The longer I wait, the more awkward it will be when I do come out. Maybe I should. Okay, so... She... Uh, so... <laughs> the one lady that hadn't already said to her husband that she didn't love him. Uh, the other one left the husband. She didn't say it yet. Now she said it. That's why the husband was like... I don't know if the husband was sleeping on the couch then, or, or if she was sleeping on the couch, but yeah, um, okay. There's- I'm walking through blood. I'm leaving all the blood trails everywhere. Uh, we should probably check what's in here, huh? Or did- oh, someone got smacked on the side of the thing here! Oh, that's the- this is the freaking impact wound of the- Oh, God. <laughs> what? Enter selection mode, A, B. A, B. And Beaumont. And Beaumont. Check the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just checking around. Uh, just checking around first because that's probably going to lead to the end of the story or something. Okay, so they're cleaning this. I think that's everything. What do you got? 
throw away before even looking. Oh, we can't. It's not a digital camera. Of course we can't. <laughs> can we find the camera roll, though? <laughs> I don't know why I expected that to be a screen. <laughs> I was like, oh, let's look at the camera. <laughs> this is not... It's not that time. We're leaving footprints everywhere. I don't... Oh, are we actually? Oh, we're actually leaving blood footprints everywhere. Oh, no. Wait, that's why we were the suspect. And that's why we're being arrested. Or that's... Oh. <laughs> that's why they're interviewing us. So we're telling the story to save ourselves. Hold on to this, maybe. Oh. It's all Jover. Okay, what am I... Self-service. Is there anything I'm missing here? I want to make sure... Oh, there's something on the floor. What? It's a necklace? Necklace got broken. Okay, so I could have been... In the vent? Uh, can I access the vent? Ooh. Wait, you want? I can't? Why? Why can't I even interact with it? Oh, so I could be hiding evidence right now. I could probably clean this, couldn't I? Clean up the blood here? <laughs> okay, so I've led... I have to get the power back oh, on. Oh, I have to get the power back on. Okay. I guess it's in the elevator or in the janitor's closet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Maybe give... Oh, we used the ice pick. I see. That worked. Thank God. Okay. Now, to get the... Eugene... Oh, sorry. What I would give to have you with me right now. Uh, if there's a power outage, I'm busy... <sighs> you and know I... we'll have to make do. And I'm busy preventing another part of this hotel from collapsing. Here's what to do. Check fuse box plan for required amperage of amperage of each socket. Remove all... Okay, here we go. Uh, remove all brown or blown fuses from the sockets. Blown fuses are usually blackened. Screw in new fuses in new sockets. Make sure the amperage is correct. Flick big lever to restore power. Okay. So which one's blackened? Remove fuse. That one. That's the only one that's blown? Okay, we need to see. 15... What the hell? This is all... How did this end up here? What? Clarington Hotel? Safe combinations? Oh, wait. Was there a safe we couldn't get into? Interesting. I wonder. Can we inspect? Not much use without the rest of the code. We can guess it. Wait, we, we didn't actually get into the safe, did we? We didn't get into the safe of 509. 15 amp? Yeah, but how do I know which one has 15 amp? Does it say it on the fuse? Can I look at them? Uh, oh, because A has 15 amp, of course. Okay, well, there we go. I picked the right one. <laughs> Put it in? Yes? Please? Oh, hold scroll. There we go. Nice. Boom! No Wait. Power. I think I need to change all of the blown fuses. Oh, there's more? Oh, this one as well. I see. There we go. Did Eugene quit? No, I think Eugene... Wait, maybe. Did, did he... Was he not angry at... Uh, you restored the power on the fifth floor. Okay, but we need to do more, though. We need to get this one. Uh, so we have 23-4 and then nothing. Someone earlier said there was a thing in the basement. Oh, you can't find this anymore because it was in the basement. Okay. Oh, maybe we can fucking... Game the system? Can we hold it up against the light? <laughs> I don't think we can. Okay. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... If if we should have done it earlier, I'm not gonna take the number combination from chat and see what's in there. Uh, I don't want to be a, a, a dirty cheater boy. Uh, so we're just gonna go downstairs. I don't think it matters too much. I don't think there's like... Oh, we could save. Let's just drop a save here. Drop a manual save here, just so we can come back here later if we need to. If this leads to, like, a terrible ending, we can come back here later. Anyway, leave now. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, this is, what, this is what we saw in the beginning, or what? <laughs> we just didn't see the body. <laughs> no wonder they take out the killer yeah i mean we have a lot of explaining to do <laughs> i wonder if they'll even believe this story all right here we go phone i need a phone i need a phone beth i'm sorry but there's been a murder no one is here Montreal Police.
police service, Station 22. There's a... There's a man dead. He's been murdered. I... I need the police. Please stay calm, ma'am. Where are you right now? At the lobby. But the body, it's... It's upstairs. Can you give me the address, please? Oh, um... 11... 1178... Beth is the killer after all this. All right, ma'am. Officers are on their way. Thank you. This is so cool, man. What a fun game. <laughs> I didn't think there was going to be a murder. But then there ended up being one anyway. Why does the VIP want to meet with Paul? Maybe he fell for his role playing and wants to hire him as a private investigator. Well, reception staff, the scarred previous instructions. Our prestigious guest has expressed the desire to meet the guest from 505. I cannot fathom what such an illustrious man wants from such a freak. But if you see him, please direct him towards my office. Okay. No, I just have to wait for the police. I'm going to read all my notes. You read all the notes so first, though. Ben and Marcella really are planning to run off together. Ah. Was what of course. happened to Hector part of their plan? <laughs> I think so. I mean... Is this the brochure Beth was talking about? The one that came in the mail for Anne? We have not seen the dogs, no. Um, same story from before. We have anything else? But lots of keys. Freaking picture of himself. So dark in here? I guess the... Why is it dark in here? The, ho the hotel should be open like 24-7, no? Um, ding the bell. <laughs> I thought it was going to give me an achievement for that. Let's look at this again. 505, Mr. Spade. Cruise. All the special. Uh, okay. Did we just walk through the door now? I think we... Yeah, we reread everything. The brochure was on the wall. <clears throat> Wildcat, thank you for the two. Beth? Oh, <gasps> hey you. Let's go. Great timing, right? I'm thinking if we're lucky, Bernard will let us go home. No point in working in the dark. Sophie? <laughs> There's hey, a literal murder. You're not scared of the dark, are you? Hey, is everything okay? I found Mr. Cruz. Hector. Oh, you did? <laughs> what was the bloke up to? You don't understand. I found his body. He's Merde. Merde. Sit down, okay? You look like you're about to faint. <laughs> Freaking merde. The stairs are broken. Have you called the police? Yeah, they're... They're on their way. What happened? Was there an accident? No, I don't think so. Someone did this to him. You mean murder? <laughs> murder? No, not murder. Murder. I'm sorry. Wait, what? You think it could have been Anna and Marcella? Uh, it was me. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think so. Yes, or maybe it was Paul doing it. <laughs> like. Is very suspicious that it's them. Like, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> I, I found something on Hector that would point to that. Yes. Wait, so you touched the body? The dead body? I didn't, I mean, yes. I couldn't help, I, I snooped. Sophie, rule number one when stumbling upon a dead body, do not touch. Could really get you in trouble. How do you so, know rule number one of stumbling upon a dead How body, is lady? This letter that made it sound like Marcella would get a lot of money from her husband's death. Uh, throw the affair into the mix and you get a pretty good motive. That's what I'm thinking. I'm probably going to hell for saying this. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm going to hell anyway. But I can't really blame her if she did. <laughs> Uh, I understand. Yeah, not being able to be with the person you love <laughs> must be so. But why did they heartbreaking? I can understand wanting to find a way to escape. But why did they can? kill I mean, him? Though? I can't excuse murder. Yeah. But I 
understand. I'm glad you do. You know, she's going a little. I've been with a woman before, Ziva Rivers. She's a photographer in New York. We were together for a while, and uh oh, where's this going? I was so in love. It was it was like a fire rain couldn't put out. I guess like anything that intense, it wasn't meant to last. But while it lasted, I was the happiest I've ever been. The pearls. This is her necklace. Between us, kept us apart. I would have done just about anything to be with her. Maybe. Well, maybe that's what happened here with Anne and Marcella. Thank you. Thank you for trusting me with this. Maybe now you can understand why I care so much about you. I don't know if I'm feeling inspired by Anne and Marcella, or if it's the shock of being so close to an actual murder, but, um... I'd really like for us to be <laughs> this is not the time. Just <laughs> this so is we... just not the time for it. We're gonna say me too, but <laughs> we should probably <laughs> like be a little bit more <laughs> like yeah. focused on the situation. I, I like that too. Uh, that's <laughs> that's great. Fucking best to be like, I know you just saw like the most traumatic thing of your just entire fucking life, but can we talk about us, please? Yeah, of course. She doesn't seem shocked at all. Like, but like, there's no reason Beth would kill the lady. That doesn't make any sense. Or the guy, sorry, not the lady. Well, no wonder we were being interrogated. <laughs> I feel like you're using Miss this Roy. murder to avoid your feelings for me. Miss Roy. Miss Roy. Oh, here we go. Oh, sorry. I was distracted. I really need you to focus right now. I don't want to be here all night, and I'm sure you don't either. No. No, I don't. So, as I was saying, we're trying to ascertain the circumstances of Mr. Cruz's death. Can you tell me how you came to find the body? I... I was cleaning room 509 when I heard the elevator bell ring again and again and again. I thought maybe a child was playing with the doors, so I went out in the corridor, and that's when... Cleaning. <laughs> that's when I saw him. All the blood and... Why was the elevator bell ringing? I'm sorry? You said you heard the elevator bell ring. Why was it ringing? I assume it wasn't a child after all. We're not lying. Mr. Cruz's body? I'm not sure. Why would we lie? Well, Mr. Cruz's Oh, we here we can choose if we snitch or not, maybe. Was preventing the doors from closing. Really? When we found the body, it wasn't that close to the doors. Oh. Huh? The stairs are blocked because of the renovations. Oh. So the elevator's the only way out of the fifth floor. Oh, because I, we moved the body. I had no choice but to move the body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, a yeah little. sorry. Huh. So that explains the traces we found. Thank you for clearing that up. Okay. So, I mean, we, there's no way he's gonna... He's that? not gonna blame well, us, for sure. We have such a good alibi. And Beth knows so it as well. So I had to go to the janitor's closet. To access the fuse box. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. I, I changed a few But we might have to snitch on the people, back. though. But there's a lock on that box. Yeah, can, we get a, can we get a lawyer? I don't want to talk to the detective. Uh, there was a lock on the box. Isn't there? Did you have the key? I used an ice pick. I don't know why we would lie. No, I didn't. Only Eugene does. But I thought an ice pick might do the trick. So I went to the ice machine to get We one. will lie, mm -hmm. maybe. But I don't, I don't really seven, feel like we should. I but um, yes, I am. Why? What did you see when you went to the ice machine? There was blood. A lot of it. Did you touch anything? Uh, I might have to... Why would we say no? That would make us so suspicious. I might have touched a few things. Like just everything. Just to figure out what had happened to Mr. Cruz. <gasps> of course you did. Why so many witnesses can't help but compromise the evidence is just beyond <laughs> me. Okay, but he, we're a witness, anyway, not a suspect. What did you do after restoring the power? 
I took the elevator down to the lobby. That's where I called the police. Do you remember what you said to the operator? The exact words? I... No. I'm afraid I don't. You said there's a man dead. He's been murdered. That's possible. What makes you so sure it was <laughs> murder? I've been snooping around! <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, it was just an assumption. I mean, it was a pretty good assumption, dude. Like, this is, doesn't even feel like a lie. It feels like more of an omission of truth than a lie, necessarily. This is literally just telling way more than... This is like what a, a lawyer would fucking hate you if you decided to say this. It's an assumption because there was a fucking blood trail leading from a uh, freaking, like, <laughs> pointy object that was the ice machine all the way to the... I mean, I guess he could have tripped and murdered himself by accident. Um... I mean, I guess we should just be truthful, but then we're he's gonna ask so many questions. I don't think we can stop it anyway. Just fucking say the truth, I, whatever. I've been snooping around the guests' rooms. Whatever. <laughs> I didn't think you'd admit it. You knew already. We found pictures of you. Yeah, exactly. Around. We should have had to. Oh. We would have had to get rid of those pictures. Now, unless you want me to arrest you for violating your guests' privacy. Hey, this is fucking blackmail. All right. Let's start with the victim's it's wife. It's cool that there's Marcella so Cruz. that there's multiple ways Apparently to go about she left this, right? In quite a hurry this morning. What can you tell me about her? Uh, Marcella has an affair with another woman. I mean, I feel like the way we've played this, we literally have no option but to tell the truth. Like there is no other way about this. And they're gonna find this out anyway, because everything is fucking there. Like, they'll just lock down the building, they'll find all the shit, and then they can put the pieces together. So there's no point in lying. If we wanted to lie here, we'd have to have played the game in a completely other way. We would have had to uh, destroy all the evidence along the way and, like, hide all the tracks, and then maybe we could have done it. But now we have no option but to just fucking tell the truth, or we're literally just gonna look like a piece of shit for no She's reason. She's having an affair. But it's not what you think. She's been in love with another woman since college. They've been apart for more than than 10 years, and now they're... Yes, yes, I know all about Mrs. Cruz and Mrs. Beaumont's sexual deviance. Oh, okay. Have you ever witnessed them engaging in immoral behavior? What do you mean? I'm asking if you've seen them being, you know... What the fuck? Intimate. No. Like this guy. No. And did you hear them discuss their deviant ways in front of Mrs. Beaumont's son, perhaps? Okay, well, Imagine he, he is definitely going to blame them. God damn it. What version can have on a young child? No, I didn't hear anything. Did you hear them express their hatred of men? Did they ever talk about using violence against men? Did you hear them speak ill of Mr. Cruz? I haven't never... Take a stand? Deny? We're taking a freaking stand. What are you trying to imply? That Mrs. Cruz killed her husband because she hates men? I've seen it before from lesbians. Jesus! It has this guy nothing to do with shit. hate. It's about love. Not that you'd understand. I wonder... I'm... Oh, and you think you do? Then please, enlighten me. She's brave enough to be with the one she loves. I... That doesn't make her a criminal. That doesn't mean she killed her husband. I'm starting to worry you may be one of them, Miss Roy, since you're so eager to defend and these And I demons. worry about your ability to do your job, Detective. Exactly. Such a Enough! Oh, one more word. No. Just one more word, and you'll be spending the rest of your night in a cell. Okay, well, I guess I'll stop talking then. I guess I'll what request the, the lawyer. <laughs> I've had enough of you. Okay. Well, this is fucked. So he's literally... This is probably not the actual situation then. Like, because cause they're going to stop at like just blaming the couple because of their hate of like uh their, their homophobia probably but the situation probably was different because usually in these games the the most obvious answer is not the actual answer like obviously all the fucking evidence is pointing straight towards the couple having murdered them but it was strangely chipper on the phone that can't be a good sign 
I guess I'll know soon enough. Because especially, especially since the fucking, like, it was all so framed. Like, the life insurance paper was on the husband. Like, it, 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 it was way too perfect. Like, the case is way too obviously pointing in the direction of, like, it, it's, it's the perfect framing. The atmosphere is so different in here. Uh, Whatever police line, do not cross. I am crossing. Before the hotel reopens. Uh, maybe and the other Stella husband? I don't know. Paul are all suspects for Hector's murder. Oh. Uh, Was there anything I could have done to protect them? Probably. Yeah, you could have hid all the evidence, but like, did someone out? Li literally, some random guy just killed him? <laughs> uh, death and deviancy at Clarendon do Doors. Montreal police continue to move forward with the investigation into the tragic death of an American tourist, Hector Cruz, the 32 year old insurance agent, accompanied. By his wife was enjoying a stay at the Clarington Hotel when his life was tragically cut short on Monday. Though the investigation is yet to conclude, Detective Lieutenant Morris Tremblay revealed to the press that Mrs. Mr. Cruz's death has been ruled a murder. What if he just fell? <laughs> Multiple subjects, suspects have been apprehended and taken in for questioning. Once a suspect is Paul Morgan, an unmarried army veteran who stayed at the Clarington alone, two doors down from Mr. Cruz. On Sunday, one day before the murder, Morgan was seen verbally, then physically provoking Mr. Cruz in the hotel lobby. The investigation have revealed that Morgan is a former patient of McCord Psychiatric Hospital in Syracuse, New York. According to the hospital personnel, Morgan has admitted was admitted for displaying erratic, occasionally aggressive behavior. He was released less than a year ago. Mr. Morgan immediately struck me as a strange, strange and unsettling, recalled Bernard Leduc, owner of the Clarington. I was the most vocal in my desire to eject him from the hotel as soon as possible, and I took great strides to make this happen. Although no formal charges have been filed as of yet, the incident has led to an increased interest in the movement against the planned construction of the Rayleigh Psychiatric Hospital in a strange twist of fate. If construction is sanctioned, the hospital is to be located just down the street from the Clarington. Wait. Uh, the victim's wife, Marcella Cruz, is also considered a person of interest by the police. Mrs. Cruz at Cruz's absence following the discovery of Mr. Cruz's body was seen as conspicuous and suspicious. That's very suspicious. Like, she's definitely a suspect. She better have a fucking great alibi because every... Like, like I'm, maybe she didn't do it, but she better have a great story of why she wasn't there or... <laughs> Like, because she is very sus. Um, Tremblay adding that further evidence suggests that Mr. Cruz is involved in a ho homosexual affair. Okay. Literally just <laughs> the 50s, man. Mrs. Cruz was apprehended by policemen at the Ga Gare Centrale de Montreal. She was in the company of another of the Clarence's guests, one Anne Bercy, whom police suspect is the woman with whom Mr. Cruz engaged in sexual deviancy. Mrs. Bercy, a resident of Montreal, is a housewife pursuing a divorce from her husband, Louis Bercy. She and her nine-year-old son, Mick Michael, eluded Mr. Bercy by occupying a room at the Clarington for over a month. In an interview with the Montrealer, Mr. Bercy uh, deplored his wife's penchant for melodrama and urged her to seize poisoning their son's mind. Mr. D Bercy was frank about his wife's history of poor decision-making, including making frequent late visits to the White Cat. The White Cat is one of the city's many underground bars and meeting spots known to attract sexual deviants such as Mrs. Cruz and Mrs. Bercy. Yesterday evening, Montreal police promised more raids to counter the growing number of such establishments. Jesus! It's fucking... We, we, we need to go back to change history. Maybe we could have been a little bit more progressive in the past. Uh, we're... What are we Let's doing? Let's go see what Bernard wants. Can we go back? Can we call the elevator? I'm not going to <laughs> I was about there. to say. Um, Beth had the pearl... Did Beth kill them? <laughs> like, I wonder what actually happened. Ugh, go oh. to hell. Beth. Hey. Are you okay? We need to change this. I'm history. out of a job. But <clears throat> what? other than that, yeah, everything's just peachy. What? Excuse no, me. I, I hope you're luckier than I am. Come join me when he's done with you, all right? I'll be... I leave for five... We were happy for five minutes? Yeah. I mean, yeah, we could still okay. be happy. This fucking place of work sucks anyway. This fucking... Like, everyone here sucks. I mean, I know it's gonna be hard to find another job, but good God, these people suck. <laughs> Toxic workplace. Ah, uh, Miss Roy. Come in. Uh... 
I suppose you know why you're here? Uh, is it about the murder? Actually, not really. <laughs> I'm not sure, actually. Your phone call was a bit vague. Yes, well, I prefer to have this conversation in person. We've been getting a lot of press lately, and not the good kind. I wouldn't expect you to understand the position I'm in, but I assure you, it's quite uncomfortable to have one's life's work blown away like that. All thanks to some sexual deviance and a nut job. See, this job sucks. <laughs> it's obvious to me now that I haven't been firm enough. For guests of such morals to be comfortable booking a few nights here and, and, and committing such a horrid act? <sighs> no, things need to change. This means elevating our standards to the highest possible level. I hate and it starts with the people working here. It starts with you. With me? Yes. From what I've heard, you've been quite the exemplary maid. Lately. We're gonna get a promotion? Rooms, We're gonna take Beth's job? Guests. No! <laughs> I take my job very seriously. No! <laughs> As you should. We'll see for the future, what a but for now, twist. you'll be allowed to continue working here. Oh, no. Thank you. I'm not done. The police have finished their investigation and left a mess on the fifth floor. I want you to clean it up. You want me to go back there? Yes. Why not? I found a dead body on that floor. I, I'm not going back. I'll make this simple for you. If you don't do it, Holy you're fuck. fired. You can't fire me because I quit. You can't fire me because fuck you. Because I quit. <laughs> Piece of shit. Sure. I fire you. You quit. It's all the same to me. Just make sure to empty your locker before the end of the month. Let's go. Fuck you. Be all. <laughs> Good luck finding other people that work in your murder hotel, you bitch. People are gonna love it here. <laughs> God damn it. Bunny, thank you for the three. Hey. Hey. What a week. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he well, killed them for publicity? Bernard want oh my to? god. Well, he was being kind of a jerk, so I quit. Or killed you him, sorry. What? I quit. I figured there was no point in staying if you were leaving. I appreciate the solidarity, but you really didn't have to do that. I don't think there's good publicity. Every publicity is good publicity, right? What's the Did saying? Bernard say why he was firing you? Ugh. He was going on and on about keeping deviance out of the uh, hotel. Yeah. So, huh, I may have lost my cool a little. A little? I told him I was one of those deviants he was so afraid of. He froze for a moment, then showed me the door. Uh, I know you'll bounce back. Well, I'm not one bit worried about you. I know you'll be just fine. Yeah, I do have a cat-like ability to land on my feet. And <laughs> think of all the good times you'll have away from Bernard. Hmm, I'll miss annoying him. <laughs> he turns into a particular shade of red that only I can get out of him. <laughs> but That's no, you're right. It's time for new challenges. Let's go! I could see myself owning my own establishment. One that caters to the right kind of crowd. That's just a Believe good ending! Not, I do enjoy the company of people. Just not, you know, the stuck- I mean, maybe not the best ending, but- <laughs> this prestigious hotel. But maybe if I were behind the counter of, say, a bar- Yes! A desk. Uh, I don't know. Is that silly? No, it's not. In fact, you'd be perfect for it. You're the most charming person I know. <laughs> Thank you. I'm really glad you're in my life. Me too. Yeah, what if he just fell? <laughs> Can I kiss you? What if he just fell and hit his head? What if that's the whole story? I want to lie. What do you happen? We gotta, we gotta do it. Uh, look away if you're below the age of whatever <laughs> can i um kiss me let's yes. go I romance I ask. <laughs> that was the smallest kiss of all time <laughs> let's go 
Hey, achievement. What do you think will happen to our guests? I don't want to like lie. I don't want to lie like Anna Marcella. Let's do that. I mean, that's a bit rude to them, but I've sure. I've been thinking about Anna and Marcella a lot. Should I be jealous? <laughs> no, not in that way. I've been thinking about what they went through. How they had to lie and pretend. Day after day. How they had to live someone else's I did not expect this when the game started, too. I didn't expect it to be such a cool story. be with each other. I... I don't think I could do that. Well, I have good news for you, Bean. Times are changing. It's already started elsewhere. And it will get here, eventually. One day, all the Annes and Marcellas of the world will live happily together, and no one will give a damn. I really hope that's true. It will be. Hey, let's go. We're not hearing it, though. The storm is still going, by the way. One day. Are they gonna see the bar? Is it gonna, it's probably gonna go just credits. <laughs> oh, here we go. Three conspirators charged in Clarington Hotel murder case. Okay, so I wonder if he literally just fell. <laughs> like that would be so stupid. They all killed him. Or maybe they actually... Because, like, the most obvious scenario right now seems that they literally just killed him. Like... And they probably wanted to get away with it by covering up their... Or by no one knowing what they did. They should have been fucking hiding the evidence better. If they wanted to get away with murder, maybe they didn't. They probably didn't murder. But if they did, they should have hid the evidence better. Like, it wasn't my job to clean up the evidence. <laughs> The child is back with the dad. No, that's the sad part of this end. That's the most sad part of this ending. Holy fuck. Because the dad fucking sucks. Grand reopening. VIP only. Fuck you, Bernard, indeed. Uh, just to stand up to Bernard and quit, but now you have no job? Oh, no. <laughs> I thought we were gonna open a bar or whatever. But it. Oh, we do! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go. Bar time. Okay. So, it's like, uh. It's like happy here, sad there. It's like a middle of the road ending. Good ending in some parts, bad ending in other parts. All right, there you go. So yeah, obviously, I really, like, probably you're going to figure out more if you decide to, like, really clean up the evidence properly. You, I wonder if you, what would have happened if you literally just cleaned up everything? Like, if you just clicked throw away on all the stuff? Because um, he didn't get shot, right? There was, He got hit by the ice machine. So what might have happened, what probably happened is maybe, like... You know, in that situation where they were sitting on a bench, right? They were sitting on a bench. He came out because he had letters there, right? He had letters that were of like, maybe I should go out now. So maybe he went out to meet them. Then the guys saw them. They got into a fight. And then during that fight, he pushed Mr. Cruz away from him. And then he fell on the ice machine got himself killed and they all just ran away so in a way they killed him maybe i think that's that might that's a pretty because that kind of like lines up with everything that we've seen so far Yo, so very good game really love the concept um of like you being a maid that snoops on people uh it's just a very fun idea i thought originally going into it that, that it was going to be like you are the one solving a murder but the murder literally came at the very end of the game and was kind of a backstory to the overall message of this like i mean uh because like the the time of uh the time that the game plays in like the 50s and even now we still have lots of steps to to do to get to full acceptance but at least we are in a better place uh than fucking this time holy shit so yeah that was a beautiful story i had a great time let me know what you thought uh i think i'm gonna call it there 
there's like obviously we could like spend like hours upon hours replaying this trying to go for different endings but i kind of like the ending obviously wasn't a perfect ending we could have prevented them from being potentially framed i don't know if they actually did get framed they definitely make it seem like they got framed uh even though there's obviously a lot of evidence pointing in their direction but it was i find this the fight situation way more likely that they just got into a fight and um like they it was an accident basically so yeah i wonder what that would have turned out to but hey you can get the game for yourself and you can try to get a better ending uh because yeah i definitely love this game uh big support to the devs very well done uh for for like a relatively small studio to make such a incredible game and it's really ambitious with the fucking animations and everything like with the with the voice acting was really good the animations were solid there were a few stiff animations in there where a character would turn around and do like fucking this or something but that was literally about it, it looked beautiful um animations were well done uh the voice acting was impeccable the story was well written very well paced it wasn't like there were like these sections where you had to read a lot but they were like interspined with like some cutscenes and some mystery some funny parts some uh sad parts uh so yeah very well done big props for me love this game uh, let me know what you thought in the comments down below hope you enjoyed it if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join i love the game is here in chat you can join us over at twist.tv slash or click the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye